This world is just one single block, and we have to survive a hundred days in it. But every day that we survive, the world will expand, giving us access to new blocks, mobs, and structures. This is 100 days, but the world expands, and it all begins on day one. Okay, this is insane. Let's quickly see what we have around here. Okay, it looks like we have some sheep. I think I also just heard a chicken. And then we also have a pretty big mountain next to us with some goats, and that's about it. But we are on top of a cherry tree, so let's mine down and see if I can get some wood. Whoa, wait, we already got a sapling? What are the odds of that? That's insane. But here we go. We got our first wood. Oh, and it's lots of it too. Nice. Whoa, what? Wait, what? There's a sheep inside of the border? This guy must have just wandered in here. Wait, there's not enough room for both of us. Let's see, can I even mine? Oh, I can't even mine. Wait, I'm stuck here now. This is kind of a terrible start to the world. I literally can't even move and I can't mine. Okay, well, I guess that's all I can do for day one. So... Now is day two, and we still have our sheep friend right here. But now I finally have enough room to walk around in here. But we also have some grass. Let's see if I can get some seeds. Okay, no seeds. Oh, and we also have some more wood right here. Amazing. Okay, now we can finally start getting some progress done in this world. So let's make a crafting table, and then a basic wooden pickaxe. And now let's mine down to get some stone. Okay, finally a stone pickaxe. Nice. But now that it's day two and this world is two blocks wide, we can start mining down safely. Oh, he just fell down here and took fall damage. Oh, wait. Oh, this sheep is going to be more annoying than helpful, I think. Hold on, let's try to get back out of here. Oh, sheep. All right, let's see if I can make a staircase that goes up here now. Something like this. Okay, now the sheep should be able to get back up. Okay, there he goes. Nice. All right, as I was saying though, since this world is two blocks wide now, we can finally start mining down safely, since mining straight down is definitely a recipe for disaster. But let's just mine down here and see what I can find. I'm looking out for some coal, maybe some iron, and any other good stuff that we might come across. Oh, I hear some lava. Wait a minute. It sounds like it's over in this direction though. We might be able to get access to that once the world gets bigger. But so far, I haven't found anything. Oh, right as I say that, I found a cave. Oh, am I going to be able to get down here safely? Um, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, there's no safe way to get down there. Okay. Um, oh, but there is some water right next to the border. Look at that. That's going to be super useful because you need water to grow crops and also for a bunch of other stuff. But I didn't find anything good down here. So I guess we'll head back up to the top and I guess we'll just hang out with this guy until day three. Okay, it's finally day three, and the world is even bigger now. Oh, we have some pink petals. And then also two more grass to punch. Let's see. Okay, no luck with that one. And no luck with that one. Okay. Oh, wait. I just realized this staircase down here is completely dark. So that means mobs can spawn down there. Oh, no. Okay, I think it's time to make a sword, just in case. And also an axe. Just in case I have to defend myself down there. Let's go investigate. I don't really hear any mobs, so I think we should be fine. Okay, there's nothing down here. Nice. So let's see. Do we have access to that water yet? Okay, not yet, but it looks like we will tomorrow. So I guess for the time being, I'm going to widen this staircase and also try to find some iron. Let's just place a block down here to be safe. And then I'll go all the way back up to the top, start breaking down my staircase, and then I'm gonna start mining all these walls so we can widen our staircase. Wait, can you place blocks on the border? Oh, you can't. Okay, that makes things slightly more difficult, but it's fine. I really hope I'll find some ores like this, because I'm in desperate need of some torches to light this place up. Oh, you know what? I just had an idea, but I can't do that idea until I finish my staircase, so hold on. Oh, there's a little cave right here. Oh, and that's the lava that I was hearing. Yeah, it's just right there. Looks like we'll have access to it by like day six or something. That's really cool, because lava's gonna be super useful. Since with access to lava, I'll be able to make obsidian. And with obsidian, I can go to the nether. Oh my gosh, wait, my sheep just died. Wait, no, it just fell to its death. Oh my gosh. Well, at least we got some food. Oh no. Oh, I'm so sad. Now I'm not going to have access to any more wool and I won't be able to make a sheep farm anymore. Things are going terribly, guys. I have no ores, no food, and now I don't even have any animals. I have no idea how I'm going to survive this, but I'm still going to try. Okay, well, here we are at the top. I widened my staircase. I'm Let's see, are there any sheep nearby? Please, I need some sheep. Looks like the nearest ones are all the way over there. Oh, that's so far away. I cannot believe that just happened. I totally was not thinking. But like I said before, I have a plan to get some torches. And that's gonna be to mine up these new logs. Maybe we can also get some new saplings. Let's see. Okay, we just got one and now we're up to three. But let's take these logs and then we can smelt them into some charcoal. And then with that charcoal, I'll be able to craft some torches. Okay, we got some charcoal and now we have some torches. Let's quickly head down here and light this up now since I don't want this turning into a mob farm down here. Okay, and there we go. Everything is all lit up and safe now. I'm still mildly traumatized from my sheep dying. But once again, that's about all I can do for day three. So now it's day four. So now let's see if the expanded world gave us any new ores. Oh wait, look at that. It's our first ore and it's an emerald and it's also outside the border. Okay, well that's not very useful. So let's see if I can find anything else. Maybe some iron, maybe some coal. I just need anything to numb the pain of my sheep dying. That was so tragic. Okay, so far nothing new. Oh wait, but let's see. 
see. Can I access this cave now? I might be able to mine down the side like this. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Um, oh, but I can jump down into this water though. Is there any dripstone in that? I really hope there's not. And are there any mobs down there? Let's just quickly make sure. I don't want to be jumping down into a trap. Okay, it looks safe. Let's do it. Okay, here we are. Nice. Okay, let's see. Are there any exposed ores around here? Oh, we have some coal, but it is pretty far away from the border, though. And that's about all I can see that's exposed. So I guess we'll just mine down from here and see what I can find. Oh, we have some dirt. Dirt is pretty limited, so this is nice to have. I'm just gonna quickly gather all this up. All right, I gathered up all the dirt. So let's continue my staircase down here now, and then we'll keep mining. Oh, okay. We have a small cave right here. I'm so glad there were no mobs in here. Oh my gosh. There totally could have just been a creeper waiting for me. But once again, I don't see any exposed ores. This is not a very good seed, I think. I literally haven't found anything yet, but I guess we'll keep mining down to see what we can find. Okay, we got our first ore, but it's nothing very useful. It's just copper. Okay, we got a couple pieces of that. That's not too bad. Let's see what else is down here. Okay, even more copper. If only you could make copper tools. Ooh, I should be lighting this up. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> Hold on. This is very dangerous. Okay, let's keep mining. <gasps> Finally, we have some coal. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Oh, and it's so much of it too. This is so nice. I'm starting to forget about my sheep dying now. And there's still tons outside the border, so we'll be able to mine that up on day five. But let's keep mining down. Oh, I hear some zombies and some bats, so that means there's probably a cave nearby. Oh wait, I hear lots of zombies. Oh, <gasps> look at that. We have iron, but it's right outside the border. Huh, no. Okay, we'll have to come back for this tomorrow. But wait, oh, I hear zombies. <gasps> Whoa. Wait a minute. This is a stronghold. Look at this. Wait a minute. I should also be lighting this up. Hold on. I keep forgetting to place torches. This is how I'm going to die in this world. I'm going to get killed by a zombie because I forgot to place torches. Okay, let's see what's down here. Look at that. We already got the advancement. I spy. We got the I spy advancement and I don't even have any food yet. That is some very strange progression, but there's a creeper and a zombie. No, wait, don't explode. I don't like this. Oh, my stone sword is just terrible. It doesn't do any damage. Okay, we killed our first mob. We got to get rid of this creeper now. There we go. Okay, is there anything else? down here? Let's place a torch just to be safe. Let's see what's around this corner. I don't want to be surprised. Okay, there's nothing else down here. Nice. It's only us. We're safe. But look at this. We're inside of a stronghold. <gasps> oh my gosh. Wait, look at this. That's the end portal room. Wait a minute. That's crazy. That looks like it's about 20 blocks away. So we'll probably have access to this by around day 40. That is so cool. Oh, there's also a chest too. Look at that. But that's about all that I can find in this stronghold. So let's keep mining down to see what I can get. Oh, we have a little ravine right here. Oh, look at that. We have exposed coal, exposed iron, exposed lapis. Wait a minute. Those are skulk veins. Oh no. Is there deep dark down here? I do not want to have to deal with that. I don't even have any food and I'm about to encounter the warden maybe. Oh, but look at that. We have some iron. Nice. Our first piece of iron. But let's keep mining down. Okay, we just made it to deep slate level. Nice. I'm discovering all kinds of good things down here. We have a stronghold. We have some deep dark. That is kind of insane. Oh, look at that. We have more iron outside the border too. We'll also be able to mine that up tomorrow. And we also have some gravel. That's pretty useful since with gravel, we can get flint. Oh, and I keep forgetting to craft torches. Oh my gosh. I need to be lighting all this up. This is so dangerous. Oh wait, we have more stronghold down here. That is so weird because I mined really far down and there's still more stronghold. That's very strange. Doesn't look like there's any mobs though, which is good. Let's see here. Nothing good down here. What about in this corridor? Okay, also nothing. <laughs> Let's keep mining down. Oh, I hear some water. That might be useful in the future since water is a precious resource in this world and so is my sheep, but it died. Whoa, wait a minute. There's some skulk right here. Okay, so we definitely are in a deep dark biome. Let's see. Oh my, are you kidding me? Look at this. There's an ancient city down here. We have a stronghold and an ancient city. That is insane, but I'm definitely not going down there right now. That's way too dangerous. So let's head back up to the surface. <gasps> wait a minute. Since there's an ancient city, should we try to fight the warden by the end of these 100 days? I don't know. That might be kind of dangerous, but I think it should be a pretty fun challenge. But I don't even know if I'm going to be able to survive that long. This is such a hard challenge. I don't have any food yet. My only animal died and I barely have any iron. This is just going great. But let's head back to the surface and clean out my inventory. Oh, wait. I just heard a sheep like pretty close by. Oh yeah, there's one right there. Oh, please come closer. I'm in desperate need of you. But once again, that's about all I can do for day four. So now it's day five. And look at that. We have access to some more grass now. Let's see. Okay, no seeds. Still no seeds. Please, I need seeds. Okay, no seeds at all. Oh wait, there's one more down here. 
Okay, yeah, no seeds. Okay, but now that we have the world expanded, let's go down and get that iron that was just outside the border. Let's see if I can remember where it is. And I'm also running out of hunger very quickly, so we need to get some food as soon as possible. Okay, we have access to some more copper, so let's grab that real quick. I have no idea what I'm gonna use this for, but we might as well just grab it. So let's see, where was that iron? Here it is. Okay, we can finally mine up this iron. Oh, and there's even more outside the border too. So I'll be able to grab this on day six, but I think we had even more iron exposed. So let's go investigate. Okay, yeah, there's more iron right here. Nice. And even more outside the border. Okay. And yeah, that was it. Okay, we have four iron now. And I think I know exactly what I'm going to craft with all that. But first, we have to smelt it. Oh, and I also have some more logs that I have access to. Nice. It's just one, though. And look at that. Acquire hardware. That is the best advancement. But with this four iron, I'm going to craft up a bucket. Oh, wait. I don't have enough wood. I was going to craft up a shield, but I only have three planks left. It's probably a good time to plant one of my saplings. But now that we have this bucket, let's go down and grab the water in that dripstone cave. I still don't have any crops to grow with it, but it'll be nice to have. And there we have it, our first water bucket. Nice. Oh, and I'm running out of hunger so fast. This is really, really bad, guys. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I guess in the meantime, I can just set up a little farm up here, even though I can't grow anything. And we really do not have that much space. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Okay, never mind. I don't have enough space to do this, so I'm just gonna wait until day six to build this farm. This is such a difficult challenge. Okay, day six. The world is a little bit bigger. Whoa, and now we have some more trees, but we also have some more grass to punch. Punch. Let's see. I really, really, really need some seeds. I just got one. Finally. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. What about over here? Okay, just one, but that's fine. That's all I need. Oh my gosh. I thought I was going to die from starvation, but we finally have one seed and that's all we need to make a farm. So let's place down my water right here, craft up a stone hoe, hoe all of this, and finally plant our first seed. Oh my gosh. It took us six days to get food. That is insane. But we're finally on the way to having a food source. But let's quickly mine this tree real quick. Since you can see my inventory is completely overflowing. So I'm going to craft up a chest, which I'll place over here. Now we can empty out all my cobblestone and everything else. Finally. We're finally starting to make some good progress now, but we have a ton of wood to chop, so let's quickly do that. So let's see if we can also get some more saplings. Okay, awesome. We're up to four now. So I guess I'll plant one more over here. And now let's go mine up all the new ores that got exposed. We have some emeralds right here, but I think you need an iron pickaxe for that. So I won't do that just yet. But I know down below this cave, there was even more iron. So let's go find it and mine it up. But first we have some more copper. Oh, and some more coal. Nice. Oh, look at this. There's tons of it. Oh, and this iron is actually still outside the border. Okay. But I know there was more down here, right? Oh, this is dark down there. We should go light that up. I don't want that turning into a mob farm. Here we go. We got a torch right here here. Nice. And look at that. Some more iron. But in all of that, we only got one more piece. So I'm just going to spend the rest of today mining around and see if I can get some more iron. But before we do any more mining, I think I should smelt up this food because I barely have any hunger left. Yeah, look at that. I only have one hunger point. Oh gosh. Starving to death is the most embarrassing way to die. So I need to make sure that does not happen. Look at all these animals over here just taunting me. None of them want to come say hi. Oh, and the chicken even dropped an egg. Oh my gosh. I desperately need some animals. But let's throw my food into here and let's start smelting it up. Okay, check it out. My first real food. This is not very nice to my dead sheep, but it's worth it. Okay, our hunger bar is looking a lot better, so let's do some more mining. I'm just gonna go around here and expand all these walls and see if I can find anything alongside the border. Okay, we have some more coal, but it's also outside the border, so I'll have to remember to come back for that. Oh, wait, we have some pointed dripstone down here. This might be handy in the future. Oh, we should also grab this second source of water just in case. And now I guess I'll just keep mining. Okay, I spent the rest of day six mining and I got 10 iron in total. That's honestly pretty good. But now I think it's time to start working on our second farm, since this little crop farm right here is not producing anything. Oh wait, we also have some grass to punch. Let's see. Oh, okay. I got one more seed. Two more seeds. Nice. Let's plant those up real quick. But as I was saying, it's time to start working on another farm. And that's going to be a mob farm. Since with that mob farm, I can get bones to make bone meal and I can finally get a good source of food. Because I don't think growing food manually like this is going to be good enough for me. I need a reliable source of food. And I don't have any sheep either. So this is kind of my only option. But I have a pretty good idea on how to build this farm. I'm going to gather up some cobblestone as well as my water. Oh, and I also made an infinite water source as well. Since I had two sources of water, which is just enough to make an infinite source. Oh, and since the border has expanded, we have access to more iron too. Let's gather that up. And before we build this farm, let's quickly go see what else we have access to. Oh, wait, look at this. We're going to have access to lava on day eight. That's amazing. But let's see what else has been exposed. Okay, we have some more coal. That's nice. What else do we have down here? More copper, but I'm not going to mine that up just yet, as well as some copper just outside the border. Let's see. I'm looking for iron or coal though. That's the most useful stuff. Okay, this is still outside the border. Oh, and we finally have access to these two pieces. Nice. Oh, and two more iron right here. Nice. And I think that's 
it. Yep, that's all the iron. Okay, let's head back up to the top and let's start building this farm. And I'm gonna be building it underground since I feel like it's gonna be a lot easier than building it up in the sky. But first, I'm gonna need some more pickaxes. You can never have enough stone pickaxes in this world. And now let's go build this thing. I know just the place to build it. It's gonna go right down here in this exposed cave. So first, I'll have to flatten all this out and then also get rid of the staircase and then block all of it off up here just to be extra safe. Okay, and now before we do any more building, I'm gonna need to get quite a bit of wood since I'm gonna need wood to make trap doors. So let's see if I can grow any of these saplings. Just gonna place a few around here like this. Maybe I'll plant one right here as well. And now I guess I'll just wait for these to grow since I can't really do anything else without this wood. Oh wait, actually, there is something I can do. Since we're about to be dealing with some mobs, I should probably craft myself a shield just to be safe. There we go. Now we're just a little bit safer, even though I have a stone sword and no armor, but at least it'll protect me from skeletons. Okay, and now it's time to actually wait for these to grow. And maybe while we're waiting, we can have one of these guys wander in. <gasps> wait, he's coming closer. Wait, did he hear me? Wait, come back. No. <laughs> This guy is never gonna come to me, is he? Wait, hold on. He is getting close, though. This might be promising. Oh, if only I had some wheat so I could try to lure him. Come on, crops, grow faster, please. This is urgent. There's a sheep right there. Oh, that's actually so close. Okay, there he goes. He's wandering away now. He doesn't want to be friends. Okay, day eight. And nothing has changed with these trees. They haven't grown yet. But we do have some more grass to punch. Oh, and also that sheep is really far away now. I lost my opportunity to get him. Oh, wait, this one just grew. Wow, that is amazing. All right, let's chop this down and get some wood. All right, all that is chopped down. Now let's replant this sapling now. And now I think I should have enough wood to start building this farm. Look at that, a stack of planks. And I'm also gonna need a ton of trap doors. I'm not sure how many I'm gonna need just yet, so I'm not gonna craft too much. But I know that I'm also gonna need two signs. So we'll craft those as well. And we should be good to go. Oh wait, we have access to more iron too. Nice. I keep getting distracted with all this, but it's a good distraction because iron is very useful. All right, let's quickly go smelt this up since I should have eight now. There we go. That's enough to use one piece of coal. Very nice. Okay, let's get back to building. Now over here in this corner, I'm going to build a little access tunnel and that's how I'm going to be able to get down to the farm and then also down below it as well. It's going to be something like this. Let's just mine this all the way down. Okay, there's the cave. Let's place down some water just to be safe. And then I'm going to build the access tunnel like this. It's going to be just right in the corner of the farm and that's going to give me a nice safe way to get up and down. Oh wait, the border expanded so we can make this farm just a little bit bigger now. That'll give me just a few extra blocks of spawning spaces. Okay, let's just light this up real quick because I don't want mobs spawning in here just yet. We'll do something like this. Okay, and now for this access tunnel, I'm gonna dig it straight down like this. And now I should be able to link it up, here we go, with one of my existing staircases. Nice. All right, so we'll do something like this. Now I should be able to place the water up here, and then it just nicely flows down into this one block hole. Okay, perfect. All right, let's head back up here now. This is getting kind of complicated. And then I'm gonna have to mine my way out real quick. Here we go. And now I'm gonna start building the channels where the mobs will fall into. That's gonna be something like this. It's gonna be four equal channels like this. They're all gonna meet in the center right here. And this is gonna be the drop chute. So now all I have to do is place a sign right here and then right here. And this should prevent any water from going in. But we are going to need more than one source of water. So let's go back up to the surface real quick. Let's grab some more water. My crops still haven't grown yet. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, I think I know exactly how many trap doors I'm going to need now. So let's just craft the rest of those up. 12 should be perfect. Oh, and then I'm also going to need a slab. There we go. Okay, we have everything that we need. I really hope this works. All right, let's go down my access chute. Place down my water. Grab the second source of water. And I'll make a quick infinite water source. There we go. There needs to be water in all four corners like this. And there we go. Oh, wait, hold on. I didn't build this correctly. Let's just get rid of all the water real quick because these channels have to be two blocks deep since otherwise the mobs could just walk straight out and we don't want that. Okay, there we go. This is such a tiny farm. Look at this. All right, let's place water in all the corners now. And then I can also place my two signs like this. There we go. Okay, now it's time to build the drop chute. It's going to be right down here. Oh gosh. Okay, well, it just pushed me down on accident. Oops. Okay, well, let's just isolate this drop chute like this and I'll keep mining it down to the proper level. It needs to be roughly 22 blocks down below. Oh, and then we're also going to have to expand all these staircases. It is such a mess down here. There's so many random staircases and stuff. It's so confusing. But hopefully as the world gets bigger, we'll be able to expand all this and make it a lot nicer. Okay, um, there was a creeper down here that just exploded. <laughs> I wasn't recording though. Where did that thing come from? Oh, it looks like it spawned right here because it's all dark. Oh, wait, I'm scared. Are there going to be more mobs down here? Let's investigate. Oh yeah, there's a zombie. Where are these guys coming from? Go away. Oh, it must be because the border expanded that maybe something's dark now. Oh yeah, look. I think my water must have gone down here and gotten rid of all the torches. Ooh, that's bad. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, this is so scary. Because as this border gets bigger and bigger, there's going to be more areas that aren't spawn proof that get inside the border. So every day the border grows, it might cause some problems with mobs. But I'm going to try my best to stay on top of it. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's get distracted again and mine some coal. <laughs> nice. Four more pieces. All right, let's get back to building this thing. Okay, I've calculated the correct Y level and the drop chute should end right here. Okay, look at 
that. I just have to patch up a few holes and also expand these staircases to go around it. Okay, everything should be good. I think we have a fully functioning mob farm. Oh, I'm so scared. This thing has a very high chance of killing me, but I guess it's worth the risk. Since without this, then I won't be able to get a good supply of food. And without food, I'm also dead. So no matter what I do, then I have a chance of dying. <laughs> but let's add the trap doors now. I can also get rid of this light source. Oh, wait. Oh, no. This is going to push me off. Okay. Ooh, I got scared. Oh, wait. I'm just one trap door too short. Hold on. Um, Let's light this up just in case. I don't want to come back to a room filled with mobs. Oh, and look at that. Our first piece of food. Oh my gosh. And it gave us three seeds. Oh, that is so amazing. Let's see. Can I lure a sheep with it? Oh, they are so far away now. There's practically no hope. Okay, well, let's just stash that away somewhere safe for now. Let's craft up a few more trap doors. Okay, we should be good to test this out now. Okay, here we are. Let's go down here, place down my last trap door, and everything should be good now. Let's break the light source, and then I'll quickly escape and also seal this up. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see if this works. Let's go down to the end of the drop chute, which should be right down here. Yep, here it is. And I'm also going to place some trap doors on it since that way I can close it off when I'm not using it. Let's see if this works. Okay, on the F3 screen, I see a zombie and a creeper. I really hope they're spawning up there. Oh, yeah, look, it's working. Oh my gosh, we actually have a functional mob farm. But I'm not really looking for some zombies. I want to get some skeletons. Oh my gosh, and look, there's one right here. Look at that. No bones just yet, but we're going to get some very soon. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, are we going to get anything else? Oh, here we go. Oh, and look at that. We finally got some bones. Okay, let's quickly go use them. Oh, wait, and it's also day nine, so that means the border expanded. So we should be able to also expand this mob farm as well. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I hear them up there. Oh, gosh. Now the question is, how am I going to get in there safely to expand it? This might be kind of difficult. Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. Um. Yeah. Oh, hold on. There's skeletons. And I forgot to close this. Oh, they're fighting each other. Oh, gosh. He has an enchanted bow. Okay. There we go. The zombie killed him for me. Nice. All right. Let's light this up and let's quickly expand it. It's going to go like this. And I'm also going to have to mine this over here. Okay, there we go. It's been successfully expanded. Let's break this, and I'll quickly escape. All right, let's go test out my first bone for bone meal. And look at that. We also have access to lava now. Not sure what I'm going to do with that just yet, so I'm just going to leave it where it is. But in the future, we might be able to use a cauldron and some dripstone to get even more lava. Oh, and look at that. We got more food. Nice. This farm is quickly expanding, and I can turn this into some bone meal and grow all of these. Nice. We're making some pretty good progress now. Things are really starting to speed up. It's amazing. Those first six days were so painful. But let's quickly mine up all the rest of my wood that I have access to, as well as punch some more grass. Oh, there we go. Some more seeds. Very nice. And now I'm going to go use the mob farm for a bit and stock up on some bones. Oh, it sounds like it was working when I was gone. Yeah. Oh, there's tons of things down here. Nice. Look at all that. Oh, I got a bow. Nice. As well as some arrows, some gunpowder, and some bones. This is going to be one of the best farms in this world, I think. But I'm just going to sit here for the rest of day nine and get as much stuff as I can. Oh my gosh. Look what I just got. I got a carrot. Wait, we have more food now. Hold on. I totally forgot you could get carrots and potatoes from zombies. That's another super good use for this farm. Oh, we're making so much progress now. This is amazing. All right, let's plant my first carrots. Nice. And I also have six bone meal that I can use. There we go. We got some more wheat and four more seeds. Wait, is that enough wheat to craft bread? <gasps> it is. Look at this. Our first food from our farm. Probably not even going to get me up to full hunger though. Yeah, but it's better than nothing. All right, let's go back down and keep using this farm. <gasps> Wait. Oh, there's a spider. Let's kill you real quick. Wait, he dropped some string. Wait a minute. That's also going to be super useful. Wait, how is there a spider outside the border? Um, that doesn't make any sense. Let's see if I can lure him in. Oh, he sees me. Okay, here he comes. Oh, oh gosh. Ah, okay, we got string. Nice. This is so scary. All right, let's go down and get my string. I already have two pieces, but I think we should have a few more down here waiting for me. Okay, here we are. Ooh, look at all these skeletons. So nice. And here's the string. Okay, we have four pieces now. I just need four more, and then I'll finally be able to craft a bed. Ooh, look at this. My first piece of armor. Nice. Okay, it's been a little while longer. Let's go see if there's any more spiders in the farm, since I really want to be able to craft a bed. Oh, yeah, I hear one. Let's see. Where is it? Sounds like it's pretty close by. These spiders like to go in the corners, usually. Let's see. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Hello, friend. Oh, I'm scared. I can't reach him. Wait. Oh, I have a bow, though. Let's see. Okay. And I killed it, and it dropped some string. Nice. I'm gonna have to wait for this creeper to go away, though. Or maybe I can just wash the string into the center. Yeah, I think that worked. Let's go down and check. Okay, here we are. And I didn't get any string. Okay, so it must still be up there. I'm gonna have to go investigate. Okay, let's see here. Okay, there's no mobs. That's good. And here's the string. Okay, nice. We have six now. We just need two more. I'm so close to being able to craft a bed. Just one more spider, and we should be good. Okay, it's been a bit more time. Let's go see if there's any more spiders. Oh yeah, I hear some. Nice. 
Oh, what the heck? Whoa, the border expanded and now they can go behind here. Okay, wait, that's bad. I didn't think this through. Um, I'm gonna have to get rid of this guy though. Wait, there's so many of them. Okay, let me just block this off. I'll go like this. Okay, we're gonna have to fix this farm. Let's go down here and investigate. Okay, there aren't many mobs. There's a few outside the border for some reason. It looks like they're able to get outside the border when the border expands. Yeah, there's creepers. No, I hate this. Okay, I'm just gonna have to use my bow. Let's try to kill this guy. There we go. And then this creeper's stuck in here, so that's good. I'll just get rid of this water and let him flow down. Oh, wait. No, he's not stuck anymore. Hold on. I'm gonna have to put some walls on this farm, I think. Okay, the creeper fell down. Good. All right, let's start fixing this now. Let's expand it one more block. I'm also gonna light it up just in case. Oh, and there's string outside the border. Weird. Okay, I'm also gonna relocate my access chute, I think. Since the border has expanded, it's kind of just in the middle of the farm now. So let's also relocate that as well. Oh no, there's a skeleton. Okay, wait. Oh no, go away. Okay, it just fell down. This spot over here is not lit up. There we go. Oh, it did so much damage to me too. I hate skeletons. Okay, well, let's keep fixing this farm. I'm making some pretty good progress so far. Okay, the access chute is all fixed. Now we just have to add two more trapdoors and it should be all good to go. Whoa, look at all the trees that have grown up here and all my food. Oh my gosh. Let's harvest all this up, replant my seeds. Oh, I have tons of food. This is so nice. Let's see here. I can craft two more pieces of bread. Is it gonna get me up to full hunger? Oh, almost. But if you see here, I already have one piece of white wool. I can craft another piece and I'm just missing two string to finally make a bed. I can't wait until we're able to sleep, but I have one trap door and now I have three. Okay. Perfect. Let's go add those to the farm. Okay, here we are. I'm gonna add one right here and also one right here. Okay, everything should be good. Let's break these torches. Yeah, we're all good to go. It's time to try this thing out again. Okay, let's go down my new access chute and let's see if it works. Okay, it's working. Nice. I'm just gonna stay here for a little bit to get some more bones and hopefully by then there should be some more spiders in the farm. Okay, it seems like this farm is going quite a bit faster. Oh, and we also have some more armor. Nice. And by now there should be some spiders up there. So let's go see. Okay, I hear spiders. Yeah. Oh, there's so many. What? Let's see. Probably one in this corner. Yep, here's one. Hello, friend. Okay, that one didn't drop anything. But it sounds like there's some more over here. Oh, he just fell to his death, I think. Let's see. Yeah, no string from that one, though. And yeah, here's the spiders. Let's just try to kill them with my bow. Here he is. Oh, there's tons of them. Okay, they all died. Wait, but they're falling outside the border, though. That's so weird. Let's go try to grab that string, though. Let's see. Yep, here's one more spider. Okay, I killed it. There's a zombie as well. Please go away. Ah, uh, ooh. Okay. I only have three string. Really? He only dropped one string and the rest is outside the border. Okay, we're gonna have to kill some more spiders. This is so hard. Whoa, wait a second. There's water coming through right here? Why? Oh no, wait, it's gonna destroy all my torches down here. Oh my gosh. It's gonna go all the way down to the bottom of the world. I guarantee it. Okay, hold on. We have to go fix that now. There's always things that break and need fixing in this world. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's a disaster. There's water everywhere. Look at all these torches that got broken. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it actually went all the way down. Wow, that is crazy. But I fix all the torches, so we're good. Oh, and here's the end of the water. Okay, nice. Perfect timing. All right, let's go back up, kill some more mobs, and hopefully have some more spiders spawn. Okay, there should be some more spiders up here. Let's go check. Oh, wait. Hold on. The border expanded, so there's zombies. <gasps> he dropped a potato. Oh my gosh. Literally amazing. You know what? Let's go get some more food before I start fighting these spiders, since I want to be on full health. Okay, we got some more wheat. Very nice. And my inventory is always overflowing. Oh my gosh. Now we have some more carrots, and I can plant my first potato. Look at that. We have tons of new stuff now, but these sheep and chicken aren't getting any closer. But let's quickly expand my farm, plant up some more seeds. Let's see. Let's turn all this into bone meal. Oh my gosh. Look at that. We have over a stack of bone meal. That is insane. Let's grow all of this now. Oh guys, I'm getting so rich now. This is amazing. Oh, and since we have potatoes, I can make baked potatoes. Those are a really good source of food actually, but my entire farm is grown so I can harvest all this up now. Oh, look at this. This is so nice. Yeah. Over a stack of seeds. That is so good. Let's just quickly grow some more potatoes since I think I'm going to use those as my main food source. I'm just going to grow as many as I can, using up all the rest of my bone meal. Okay, there we go. We have 17 potatoes now. I'll be able to fill up a pretty decent amount of this farm. Nice. And then on the rest of it, I'll plant carrots as well as some wheat. Okay, nice. And let's see. Eight pieces of bread. Oh, that feels amazing. I can finally have a full <laughs> hunger bar for the first time in 11 days. Okay, things are going really good now, guys. But now it's time to go fight some spiders since I still need to make a bed. Let's see. Are these spiders still down here? Oh yeah, I hear tons of them. Okay, I'm scared. Yeah, there's so many. Oh, wait. Skeletons and creepers. Oh, gosh. Wait. Good thing there was water down there or I would have taken fall damage. Oh, gosh. 
Um, let's just use my bow. Go away, creeper. And you, zombie. Okay, they should have all fallen down the drop chute. Nice. Okay, that was kind of close. But I guess I'll try to snipe these spiders now. Okay, he dropped some string. Nice. Let's see. Yep, we have five pieces. Oh my gosh. We can finally make a bed. Let's just get rid of the rest of these spiders real quick. There we go. And I'll have even more string. And let's just quickly expand this farm as well. All right, I'll expand all this over here. And there we go. Our farm is a little bit bigger now. At some point, I am going to have to close it off though, because it's going to be getting bigger and bigger as the world expands. But let's go craft that bed now. When my sheep died on like day two, I thought I was never going to be able to craft a bed. But look at that. It's dreams coming true. <laughs> finally. I guess I'll just place it right here. And now we can finally skip the nights. Oh my gosh. Okay, but let's go down here one more time and get some more bones for bone meal. There's tons of mobs in here. Oh my gosh. Hello. Okay, I'm just going to sit here for a little bit and get some more bones. Okay, it's a brand new day. I used my bed for the first time and I only got one extra bone. Let's just use that to grow some stuff real quick. Here we go. And now since this world is quite a bit bigger, I think I should start organizing all my stuff since I have tons of random items and also tons of blocks that need organizing. So let's grab some wood, craft up some signs and some chests. And then I think somewhere down below the surface should be my chest room. Okay, wait, hold on. Not right here. We're too close to the surface still. Let's try somewhere over here. Let's just mine all this out real quick. And since the world has expanded, we have quite a bit more space to work with. We're just four blocks away from one chunk. Okay, it's a brand new day. The world has grown just a little bit more and I finally have everything all organized down here. That's gonna make my life so much easier. But there's a few more things that I wanna do. I wanna build myself a tree farm and I also wanna relocate this farm to go underground since underground will have a lot more space than up here. So I guess I'll just go somewhere below my chest room. This should be a perfect spot right here. And this is where I'm gonna build my farm. Ooh, look at this. We have brown mushrooms. Those are gonna be super useful later on because you need brown mushrooms to cure zombie villagers. But let's clear out a little area for a farm right here. I should probably make it as big as the entire world to be honest because we are gonna need a good supply of food. So I'm just gonna spend a bit of time hollowing all this out and this is where the farm's gonna go. You know what? I should probably also grab this lava real quick just so I don't accidentally get rid of it or turn it into obsidian by accident. So I'm gonna grab three extra iron and craft another bucket. Here we go. And you know what? I have tons of iron. I should craft some armor. I mean, I already have a chainmail chest plate. So should I do some leggings? Oh, I don't know. Iron is so limited. I'm not really sure what to use it for. I think I'll just do some leggings and some boots. There we go. Now we have full armor. Okay, well, let's head down here and let's keep clearing all this out. Oh, wait, hold on. I have to grab the lava. There we go. Okay, now we can keep clearing all this out. Oh, I found a ton more iron. This is amazing. And I can also hear a ton of spiders down there. That is so scary. Okay, this took quite a bit of work and we finally have access to some more iron, but here's the farm all complete. We have a lot more space down here. It's gonna be so good. But let's relocate all my crops to the new farm now. Let's mine up all of this stuff. Most of it isn't even fully grown yet, but that's fine. And now I'll just plant all of it down here. Now we have so much space. It's amazing. We're on day 15. We're almost up to a full chunk. And now I'm also gonna reclaim all this dirt since I actually don't have any left after building that farm. Okay, and now it's finally all clear up here. But let's head down here and plant up the rest of my crops. And there we have it, our fully complete completed farm. This will hopefully give me tons of food one day. But now that we have the food farm taken care of, I want to work on building a farm for another super important item. And that's wood. I want to build myself a little tree farm. But first, I'm going to chop down all the rest of these trees. And I got 28 saplings in total from that. That is kind of insane. I feel like cherry trees have much higher rates of sapling drops because I'm just getting so many from these leaves. But I also have tons of extra wood now. So before we build this tree farm, I want to craft up some ladders. I think 12 should be good. And I'm going to use that to get up and down from the farm. It's basically just going to be a platform in the sky with some dirt on it. It's not going to be anything fancy, but it is going to allow me to get a lot more wood. And wood is super important in this world. So I'm going to build up in the corner right here. That's 12 blocks. Let's try to MLG water buckets. There we go. And then I'll put my ladders up like this. And now I'm just going to build a platform up here and that's going to be the farm. It's just a temporary solution until the world gets bigger because this is going to be so ugly. Okay, I think that should be good. Let's place down some dirt like this. And this is gonna be our tree farm. Let's just spam a ton of saplings down on top of all the dirt. And there we go, I'll come back to harvest that later. But now, since the world has grown so much, we should probably go check on that mob farm because it's probably overflowing right now. Let's see. Yeah, look, there's tons of mobs. Oh my gosh, wow. There's endermen, there's witches. There's everything down there. Okay, um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I should try to expand it. And then after that, we'll build up some walls. But we have to find a way to get rid of all these mobs first. I only have 15 arrows, so I'm not sure how that's going to work. But I guess we'll target the skeletons first, and then maybe also the witches. Let's see here. Let's do an investigation. Oh, wait. Yep, there's skeletons. Hold on. I hate this. I don't want to be dealing with mobs right now. Let's just eat some more food to heal up my hunger. There we go. And yeah, look at all these spiders. Oh, they are so annoying. Please go away. Yeah, check this out. There are so many mobs. I think the most dangerous ones are definitely the 
skeletons, though. So I'm gonna try to get rid of those first. Oh, and I'm all out of arrows now. Okay. I guess we'll just go down and see what happens. Okay, that creeper just fell in. So did that one. Nice. Looks like most of the scary mobs are gone. Oh, the Enderman teleported to outside the border. Oh my gosh. That's too OP. All right, let's get rid of all the rest of these spiders. We're getting even more string. Very nice. And I picked up two more arrows. Let's see if that's enough. One and two. Oh, it was perfect. Okay. Nice. All right, let's just quickly light up this area so we don't have any more mobs spawning. And now I'm quickly going to work on expanding this farm. Okay, it's finally all expanded. And I also added some walls to it as well. But on top of these walls, I'm going to add some slabs so mobs don't spawn up here. But then I guess as the border expands, then they can spawn outside the border. But that's fine. That's problems for future Julian to deal with. Okay, there we go. Nice. Now over in this corner, I'm going to build my little access chute. It's going to go right over here. And that's going to replace this one right here. Ooh, some more coal. Nice. Okay, and here we are. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. No. Okay, we're good. I thought the water was going to go all the way down the stairs again. That would have been a disaster. But let's swim all the way up here now. Then I'm going to build the top part of the access chute over in this corner. Here we go, like this. Nice. Okay, we should be ready to test out the new and improved mob farm. Yeah, look at that. It's so much bigger now. This world is getting so big. But let's go remove all the light sources and then we'll try it out. Okay, removing all the light sources. Oh, wait, that's spawnable up there. The world expanded so mobs can spawn up there now. Um, I guess I'll just put slabs on this. I don't know. It's only going to last one day though because then the world's just going to expand. But I can at least try for now. Okay, everything is all good. Now we'll just have to open up all these trap doors. Make sure all the water streams are working. Looks like it. And then I'll break this block. And there we have it. Everything should be ready to go. All right, let's go test it out. Let's head down here to the killing chamber. And now we wait. Okay, it's working. Nice. So now that we have this upgraded farm, I'm just going to sit here for the rest of the day and get as much stuff as possible. Already, it looks like it's working much faster. This is going to be amazing. Look at all these skeletons. Okay, about one day of using the farm got me 23 bones. That's honestly not too bad. But I see something kind of exciting on the F3 screen, and that's a zombie villager. So let's go look at the farm and see if we can find it. Let's see, it should be like down here. Okay, it's not down in the farm, so it must be down in the drop chute. Okay, let's go see. It might be kind of hard to get that zombie villager are isolated from the rest of the mobs, but we can at least see. Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah, look at that. Okay, there's so many mobs in here though. Let's see if I can use my axe to just kill all the mobs that aren't zombie villagers. There's a few witches in here too. That's also gonna be super useful. <gasps> it drops sugar. Oh my gosh. Wait, that's amazing. That's exactly what I need to cure a zombie villager. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. They're all stuck together. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna go up here in the drop chute and I'm gonna block it off since I don't want any more mobs coming down. And now I guess I'll break this slab. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. This is so hard. I really do not want that zombie villager to die. And plus, since it took all that fall damage, then it's going to be on super low health. Let's see if I can use some water to get these guys to separate. Okay, that's not working. Oh, they're all like together in one hitbox. How can I get them to move? Oh, this is so hard. Maybe I can place a boat down. I don't know. What can I do? Let's just try to punch it real quick. Oh, I punched the zombie villager. Okay, that's not good. But now it's separated from all the rest of the mobs. So I should be able just to kill them like this. Okay, look at that. We have it isolated. Oh my gosh. And it's holding an item too, so it won't despawn. That is so good. Okay, let's place down a boat right here. And let's see if I can let it out. Okay, come here, zombie villager. Go in the boat. There we go. We got it in the boat. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that worked. Okay. Um, now I don't know what I'm going to do with this guy just yet, but I'm going to store him over here because we don't have nearly enough items to be able to cure him yet. Let's see. Does he do a lot of damage? Yeah, he does about one heart of damage. Okay. How can I safely move him over here? Hmm. Because he is kind of in the way. I'm going to increase the height of the roof over here so I don't take damage. And oh, this is scary. Maybe I should try to use some water. Oh, okay. No, no, he died. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, it was worth a try, I guess. At least we know what to do now when we get another zombie villager. Oh, I can't believe it. Let's let all these mobs down now. Okay, let's just kill the rest of these guys. Is that another one? Wait, no way. I think it might be. Yeah, there's another one in there. Okay, hold on. Let's try to isolate them again. I need to go up here, block this off. Let's see here. Oh, we could have had two if I didn't kill the first one. Okay, all the rest of them are all stuck in this hitbox right here. Um, I'm gonna try to separate them with some water. Okay, there we go. That definitely worked a little bit. Okay, slowly but surely. I want to be extremely careful. Okay, there we go. We have him isolated. Let's make sure I'm on full health. Then I guess I'll just place down some water right here. And I'm going to try to get him to move over in this direction. Let's go like this. And then like this. All right, go in the water, please. Okay, there we go. Nice. And then I'll place down a boat. And there we go. Okay, that is perfect. Nice. But he isn't holding any items, though. Let's see if he wants to hold an item. Hello, are you going to hold an item? Okay, I guess not. We'll just have to stay super close to him. Oh, actually, wait. Mob 
mobs and boats don't despawn, so that's fine. I'm forgetting my basic Minecraft mechanics. Okay, but there we go. We have one zombie villager now. Let's let out the rest of these mobs. Place this down right here. And there's another one? Oh my gosh, wait. There's another zombie villager. Why is my luck so good right now? Okay, I guess we'll try to isolate this one too. But I am gonna need another pickaxe though, because mine just broke. Hopefully he doesn't despawn by then. I can't believe I just got three zombie villagers in a row. That's so crazy. But let's quickly craft up some more pickaxes. Maybe I should also craft up another sword. Okay, we're good to go. I hope he's still down there. Okay, here we are. Let's isolate this drop shoot. All right. Wait, is he gone? I think he might be gone. I don't see him anymore. Yeah, I think he despawned when I left. Oh, I'm so sad. Yeah, he's gone. Well, that's fine because we already have one and I know we can get them super easily. So since we just got our first zombie villager, I think we should start working towards getting the materials to cure him. And for that, I'm going to need to go to the nether. I'm definitely not prepared, but that's what we're going to spend the next few days doing. First of all, I only have one lava bucket, which means we can only make one piece of obsidian. And I need 10 obsidian to make a portal, but I think I have just the idea on how to get more. Let's see here. I have some pointed dripstone. And where's my iron? Oh, I only have three. Oh, but I can smelt this 21 that I have here. Let's start smelting that up. And now I'm going to make a little lava farm. Since with pointed dripstone and a cauldron, you can make a little lava farm. So that's going to be the next farm in this world. All right, now I'm not exactly sure how to do this because I've never done it before. But I think I just have to place some lava up right here. Let's try like this. Then I'll block this off. And then maybe some pointed dripstone on the bottom like this. Oh, it only works on lava source blocks. Okay, but that's fine. We can at least just start with that. Oh, wait, no. Looks like it's working over here too. Nice. And now I'm going to grab my extra iron. Let's craft up some cauldrons. This feels like such a waste of iron, but it's going to be worth it in the end. There we go. That's two cauldrons. I wonder how long this takes. It looks like it is working though. And we just have enough iron to make three cauldrons. Okay. That should be a good start. Oh, and down here, let's see if we have access to those brown mushrooms. <gasps> we do I have access to almost all of them. Nice. That's another ingredient that we need to cure these zombie villagers. And now I have over a stack of bones. Look at this. I guess I'll come up here and grow some more mushrooms. There we go. Very nice. Okay. Okay, and it's dropping tons of mushrooms. Nice. Amazing. I'm starting to make some really good progress, guys. Okay, that's all of that all chopped down. Let's see, how many mushrooms did we get from that? I got 21. That's really good. That should definitely be more than enough. I only need like one or two. And we also got some sugar from a witch. So I basically have everything I need except for glass bottles and blaze rods. Now, I don't think there's any sand in this world, is there? Oh, there's some all the way over there, but I'm not even sure if the border is going to reach that big. But it's fine, because witches also drop glass bottles. They are literally one of the most useful mobs in this challenge. Okay, Let's stash away all my useful items. Now, I think we should do some more cave exploration since the world has grown quite a bit since we last did that. And there might be even more iron and maybe some other cool things that we can find. So let's go down and investigate. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at all these mobs. That is crazy. There's so many down there. But first, before we go, I think I should bring some more torches just in case because the world has grown quite a bit. So there's probably tons of dark areas down there. So we're going to have to be super careful. Okay, let's go explore. Oh, this guy scared me. I thought it was a mob ready to attack me. But let's see what's down here. I really hope there's no mobs. Whoa. I just heard something. A zombie super close by. Yeah, I'm hearing mobs. Oh no. I don't like this. Whoa, look at this. This staircase just got exposed. And this is where the zombie is. Okay. Hello, friends. Oh, there's tons of them down there. Okay. We should definitely light this up. Ooh. Oh, look at that. A library. That is so good. That's going to be so useful to get enchantments. But it's not exposed just yet. And yeah, look at this. Oh, there's so much more to explore down here. And also so many more areas for mobs to spawn. Ooh, look at this. This chest is going to be exposed in just a few days. But I'm hearing even more zombies down here. Where are they? I here skeletons too. Oh no. Looks like this might be too dark down here, so I should definitely go light it up. Place down some torches. Very nice. Yeah, I think there might be a cave over here because that's where I'm hearing all the mobs coming from. Oh, but we do have some more coal though. Let's just mine that up real quick. Let's see. Oh, some more lava. Yeah, look at that. Oh, and this chest is so close to being opened. Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll definitely have to come back tomorrow. And there's more chests over there too. Wow, this stronghold has so much stuff for us, but it looks very dark over here, so I should definitely go light this up. There we go. Let's see what's over here. Another chest that's just outside the border. Oh my gosh. How many are we going to find like that? This stronghold is taunting me. Okay, but let's continue our journey downwards. I'm hearing lots of mobs. This is not fun. Okay, all of this looks all nice and lit up. Let's see what else we can find. Oh yeah, here's the ancient city. Let's see. Should I try to go down here? I don't know. Yeah, it looks like I can build a staircase. Oh, we got the advancement. Sneak 100. I need to be very careful of any shriekers though. If I set off any shriekers, I'm immediately leaving. Oh, look at this. There's so many chests close by. I can't wait till we can get access to those. So let's continue my journey downwards. 
Gods. Oh, all these skulk sensors. Okay, is there anything that I can find in here that's inside the border? Doesn't look like there's much, to be honest. But I also don't see any skulk shriekers for the time being. So I guess we might as well check it out. Wait, what's in here? Oh yeah, there's all kinds of fire. Nice. <gasps> Wait, there's soul sand. That might be useful in the future. But let's see. Oh yeah, here's some wool. Oh, I could have just come down here to get wool to make my bed. <laughs> I didn't even need to build a mob farm. Let's see if I can get access to the secret room down below the altar. The entrance should be like right over here. I might be able just to dig down into it. Oh yeah, here's a secret room. Let's see what I can find in here. I can't believe I'm inside an ancient city right now. Okay, we have a target block, some redstone stuff. Nice, we don't have access to too much stuff just yet, but if we ever need any redstone stuff, then I know where to come. But it doesn't look like we have access to any of the chests in here just yet. So besides redstone stuff, there isn't much that we can get down here. So I guess I'll head back up. Oh wait, there's iron. Let's go grab that real quick. And what's kind of weird is that I actually feel safe down here because since we're in a deep dark biome, then no mobs can spawn. The only thing we have to worry about is the warden. But since there aren't any shriekers, then I'm super safe down here. Who knew the deep dark would be the safest place in this world? Okay, but that was only one piece of iron. That's fine. And I don't think I see anything else. Okay, let's head back up my staircase now. I would really like to find some more iron though, because I need an iron helmet and an iron chest plate. I want to be as protected as I can possibly get. Okay, my zombie villager is still doing good. That's nice. And I don't hear any others inside of here yet. But I just need to go back to my chest real quick to stock up on some more pickaxes. And then we'll continue our hunt for some more iron. Oh, look at this. We have lava. Oh my gosh. Wait, that went so much faster than I expected. That's amazing. We already have two pieces. Let's place one more right in there. Wait, it just did it again. Look at this. It's going so fast. Let's place one more right here. I can't believe this. That is insane. We just got two more lava back to back. We're 30% of the way there. Three out of 10. Okay, but let's get some more pickaxes. And you know what? I'm actually running low on wood, so I think we should go check on my wood farm. I keep getting distracted, but there's so many things that we have to do to survive in this world. Oh, and there's an enderman. Wait, hold on. Let's craft a boat real quick. I need to see if I can get any ender pearls. Yet again, another thing to be distracted by. Okay, hello, friend. Okay, he's in it. Nice. Let's kill him. It might take a super long time with this stone sword. Never mind. Oh, we got a pearl. Nice. And a grass block. Those are both really good things. Nice. That was definitely worth it. Let's stash this safely in here. Now let's go check on my wood farm. Looks like we have quite a bit of trees that grew, actually. Let's see. Yeah, there's lots of them. Nice. All right, so let's get to chopping. Okay, chopping down all those trees got me just under a stack of logs and 24 extra saplings. That is really good. <gasps> Whoa, wait, <laughs> look at this. We have three more lava. That is insane. This is going so fast. Um, where am I going to store this lava now? Hold on. Let's just make a little pit above ground so I can store my extra lava because I don't have enough iron to make any more cauldrons yet. Um, is this a bad idea? Is this going to catch on fire? I have no idea. I guess we'll just try it out. I can't believe how well this is working. This is going way faster than I expected. I thought we were going to have to wait like 20 days per piece of lava. But it looks like we're getting about one piece of lava per day. And then multiply that by three. And we should have enough lava to go to the nether in about three more days. So that's amazing. But let's get back to what I was doing earlier. And that's trying to find some more iron. Let's see. How's the mob farm? Oh, yep. Doing very well. There's mobs everywhere down here now. But let's see if I can go find some iron. Okay, no iron just yet. But I did find a massive vein of coal. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. I found some lapis. Wait, do you need an iron pickaxe to mine this? Okay, no, you just need a stone pickaxe. Nice. That's gonna be so useful once we do some enchanting later. Uh, I still haven't found any iron. Okay, this thing is definitely overflowing. Look at all this XP. This is also gonna be pretty good for enchanting, I think. But the hunt for more iron continues. Whoa, I hear skeletons. Are they through here? <gasps> oh, yeah, there's a cave down there. Oh gosh, please don't shoot me. Oh, okay, he's right here. There's two of them. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, I got it. Wow, this is a pretty big cave down here. Let's definitely make sure to light this up. Oh, there's some more iron taunting me. And I also managed to find 20 iron. That is really good. But let's see if I can find any more. All right, I spent the rest of the day mining and I didn't find anything else. So let's smelt up all this iron now. I also have so many bones. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. We should probably go check on my food farm too. I haven't harvested that in quite a while. I'm gonna grab my bones, drop off the rest of my items. So let's go harvest up my crops. I'm just gonna make sure they're all fully grown by using some bone meal first. Now we can harvest all of them up. Oh my gosh. Gosh, look at how many potatoes I got. That is insane. We finally have a good source of food. It's amazing. Oh, and we can harvest our next brown mushroom. Nice. Okay, but look at this. After replanting all of it, I'm left with four and a half stacks of potatoes. That is so much food. I can finally sprint carefree now and not have to worry about running out of food. But let's turn all this into baked potatoes. And I'm also going to need some more furnaces too. Nice. Look at that. Our first baked potatoes. Let's see. Yeah, they do so much hunger. Nice. This is amazing. Okay, but I'm just going to spend a bit of time smelting up the rest of these. Wait a minute. Since I have all this 
it's wheat now. Let's see if there's any sheep close to the border. Yeah, the nearest one is over there. Let's see. Oh, ouch. Fall damage. Yeah, I feel like as the border expands, they just get farther and farther away. Let's see. Are there any chickens, maybe? I don't know. I don't see anybody. Come on, animals, please. I need you guys. Oh, and also, since the world has expanded, we should also light all this up. Yeah, look, this is spawnable down here. Oops. It's gonna be a constant battle to keep up with the border expanding. Okay, but I think everything is all lit up. Nice. Oh, and we have some more lava. Amazing. I'm starting to make some really good progress. We have four extra pieces of lava. We're almost halfway there. But let's take a nap and let the border expand. Okay, it's a brand new day. The world has expanded. Let's just quickly go see if I can get any sheep to come closer. Oh, this guy's not too far away. <gasps> Wait. Oh my gosh. Wait. Oh, I thought it was working. Oh, he's so close. Please, sheep, please. No, he's going farther away now. I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit in case he decides to come a tiny bit closer. Oh, he's so close. He just needs to come like two or three blocks closer. Come on, please. Come on, sheep. No, don't walk away from me. This is so tragic. I'm not sure if I'm ever going to be able to get animals in this world because they just keep going farther and farther away. Come on, sheep. I know you want to be friends, please. Oh, if only I could get outside the border, then I could just get a little bit closer to him. But I don't think it's possible to get out here. Come on, sheep. Okay, yeah, he's way too far away now. It was worth a try. I guess I'll try again tomorrow once the border expands. But I have a ton of extra iron now. So with that, I'm going to craft up a chest plate and a helmet. And then we'll swap it out for this garbage. There we go. I have full iron armor now. Let's see. Any more lava? Nope. Okay. And I have four extra pieces of iron, so I think I know what I'm gonna do with that. I'm gonna craft up an iron pickaxe, since I think it's about time that we go mining for diamonds. Now that I have full iron armor, this should be a lot safer. Let's see. Oh yeah, this thing is just overrun with mobs. That is crazy. It's working so good, but I'm not hunting for mobs. I'm hunting for diamonds. Look at all these guys. Tons of items for me. Thank you. And tons and tons of XP. I'm almost at level 40. That's crazy. But let's go all the way down to the ancient city, and that's where I'm gonna start mining for diamonds. <gasps> Actually, wait a minute. Yeah, look at this. These chests are exposed now. I think there's about two or three chests that we can check out. Let's see. Oh, we got the eye armor trim. Not sure if I'll ever use that. We also got some gold and some redstone. That's pretty good. I'm also going to steal this chest too. Let's see. I think there were a couple over here as well. Let's go investigate. Yeah, this one's inside the border now. Oh, we have iron leggings. Okay. Well, I guess if mine break, then I'll have an extra set. Let's see here. Okay, this one's still outside the border. And I think that might be it. Oh, but wait a second. I forgot to bring my food with me. And I also have to grab some torches. Yet again, another thing to be distracted by. Let's see. Hello. Thanks for the items. Oh, an enchanted bow. Power one. That's pretty cool. I'll definitely stash that away for safekeeping, but I wasn't very prepared for this mining trip, so let's get geared up. I'm gonna need all my food. Oh, there's so many. Yeah, look at that. Almost three stacks of baked potatoes. That is amazing. And now I'm also gonna need to craft up some more stone pickaxes, since I only want to use my precious iron pickaxe to actually mine the diamonds. And then I'll drop off all my extra stuff. And now we're actually prepared for this mining trip. Oh, wait. Hold on. I just heard a witch. I need to kill it. Please drop some glass bottles. Why do you have so much health? Oh my gosh, I've hit this witch so many times. There we go. Okay, it only dropped a stick. It was worth the detour though. Okay, now we're actually gonna mine for diamonds, I promise. I keep getting distracted. All right, so we're gonna go all the way down to deep slate level and then also to our ancient city. And now I guess real quick before I start mining, let's just see if there's any exposed diamonds. Let's see here. Doesn't look like it right off the bat. Yeah, okay, there's no exposed diamonds. And I guess my next best bet is just to mine all this skulk and I'll see if there's anything hiding below this. Okay, no luck with that. I guess I'll just mine down below this ancient city and see if we can find anything. This world still is pretty small though, so the odds of there being diamonds are kind of low. <gasps> oh wait, we got some gold. That's going to be super useful, because I need gold to make golden apples to cure the zombie villagers. Nice. Let's see, how much did we get? Six. Okay, cool. Let's keep searching though. Okay, we're at bedrock, and I guess I'll just mine out this entire area down here. The world's not that big, so I'm just going to do a bunch of zigzagging strip mines and see if I can find anything. Okay, you're not gonna believe it, but I got a total of zero diamonds. I'm so sad. And I didn't even find any on the borders of the world either. I mined out this entire area and I didn't find anything. Oh wait, there's some redstone right here. Let's just gather that up real quick. Oh my gosh, there's no way. I found some diamonds. Right as I say that I didn't find any, I find some. That is so funny. Uh, my inventory is completely full though. What can I get rid of? I think we should come back for these. And I also forgot to bring torches with me, so this is all dark. So when we come back, it might be filled with mobs. I don't even know how to get out of here. Where did I come from? Hold on, I'm completely lost. Is this where I came from? Okay, here we go. Let's go empty out my inventory and then we'll come back. Oh wait, actually, this is the deep dark biome, so there's not going to be any mobs that spawn. That's amazing. So I guess we technically don't have to light all of it up, but I still do need to head home because I have to empty out my inventory. Oh wait, here's zombies and endermen down there. Oops, that's not a good sign. Okay, we're back home. Let's start smelting all this stuff up, empty out my inventory, and let's go get those diamonds now. Oh wait, hold on, we have more lava, more things to be distracted by. Whoa, wait, look at this. We have nine pieces of lava in here, so all we need is one more to be able to 
to build a portal. That is amazing. But let's go get those diamonds first. Whoa, I just got some pretty OP boots. They have Feather Falling 2 on them. Let's just use those for now. They only have 10 durability left though, so they probably will break very soon. But any amount of Feather Falling is really nice to have, so I'm gonna use those for the time being. But we're back down at the ancient city. Let's go get those diamonds. If I can even find them. Let's see. Oh yeah, here they are. Okay. Oh wait, hold on. We gotta use an iron pickaxe. We got one, two. Hmm, should I mine any more than this? I'm not sure if I should save these for when I get fortune three, because I only really need two diamonds to make an enchanting table. I think just for now, I'm gonna save those. Let's just see how much more there is though. Okay, I think it might only be the four of them. Okay, yeah, it was just four. There's only two left. I can't really do anything with two more diamonds, so I'm just gonna save those until I have fortune three. I think that's gonna be my best bet. But there we have it. We finally got some diamonds. Okay, I finally made it back home and look at this. We have our 10th piece of lava. That is amazing. I think it's time we build a portal, but it is nighttime, so let's sleep real quick. All right, but first I'm just gonna empty out the rest of my stuff. And next I'm gonna have to find a place to build this portal. I'm not sure where I wanna do that. <gasps> Wait, look at this. There's a little chicken over there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see. Let's grab some seeds. I get distracted so easily, guys. Let's see if I can lure this chicken towards me. Come here, friend. I have some seeds. Oh, it looks like he's stuck in the water though. Okay. Well, I guess that's a good thing because when the border expands, then he'll still be there and I'll finally be able to get my little chicken friend. Oh no, wait, I just heard something. Yeah, there's pillagers. Where are they? Oh, they're right here. Okay. Oh gosh. Um, what do I do? Try to kill these guys. Go away. Okay, we did it. Was that all of them? Oh no, there's more up here. Let's see. Hello, friend. Okay, nice. We took care of them. All right, but back to the task at hand and that's going to be to find a place to build this portal. You know what? I think right here would be good. It's kind of already a natural cave right here. Let's build it in this corner. Whoa, <gasps> there's an enderman. Hold on. I keep getting distracted. Let's see. Um, oh, I'm not sure if I should look at him to get him to come in the boat. Okay, now he's inside the border. Okay, never mind. Let's see. Go in the boat, friend. There we go. Okay, we got him in the boat. I keep getting distracted by everything. Okay, no ender pearls for me. All right, let's keep mining this out. Okay, here's the outline of where the portal's gonna go. So I guess I'll place my first piece of lava and turn that into obsidian. And then I'm gonna do the rest for the other nine bits. Okay, there we have it. Here's our completed portal. Ah, I'm so scared. Okay, but we do have to craft up a flint and steel though. I think I have one place of flint in here. Yep, as well as a piece of iron. Okay, here we go. Flint and steel. Um, I definitely am not ready to go in just yet. I need to do a bit more preparation. Like, I think I should probably make an iron sword. Oh, we have this banner now. We can add it to our shield. Look at that. That's gonna be a warning to any future pillagers that try to kill me. But just in case, I'm gonna craft another shield since we are gonna be dealing with blazes and those do tons of damage. So having a shield and a backup is going to be super important. And I also have my extra boots because these are definitely going to break. Um, and then what else do I need? I have tons of arrows. I have my bow. Ooh, let's bring some snowballs with me. That might be useful to fight the blazes. And let's see, what else should I bring with me? Definitely some extra food. I think a stack of baked potatoes and 16 bread should be good. Maybe an ender pearl just in case I have to get away quickly. Who knows? Maybe that'll be useful. Maybe it won't. Um, and besides that, I think I'm ready to go. I am so scared. Okay, let's do this. Actually, one more thing before we go. I need to make sure I'm nice and rested up. And now now the world is also one block bigger in the nether as well, so that might be kind of useful. Okay, let's do this. Lighting the portal and heading through. Let's see. Okay, we got the advancement. We need to go deeper. Let's see what's around here. <gasps> Ooh, a fortress. It looks like it's still outside the border though. Let's see, what else can I find over here? We are pretty high up, so I should find a way to get down safely. Oh wait, I think the fortress is going to be inside the border. Look, there's a little tunnel right there. Okay, let's just gather up some blocks real quick. And now let's see if I can make it down here safely. Oh wait, a magma cube. I hate those things. Being in the nether with just iron armor and stone tools is kind of terrifying. But I do have some gold boots though, so the piglins should leave me alone. Oh, how can I get down here? I don't like this. We do have some quartz though. Not sure if I'll ever need that, but I guess it's nice to have. Okay, yeah, the fortress is definitely inside the border. Okay, I finally made it down safely. Let's get rid of this magma cube though. I do not want to deal with this right now. Wow, having an unenchanted bow is really not that great. Okay, go away. Oh, they're too close to the zombified piglin. I don't want to hit them with sweeping edge. Oh, why are you looking at me like that? Okay, we got them all taken care of. And I didn't get a single magma cream? What? That's not very nice. Okay, but let's see what else we have here. Looks like the fortress goes into here. Oh, I do not like this at all. There's so many mobs in here. Let's see. Okay, yeah. No blazes yet. This guy looks like he's friendly. Oh, wait. There's a blaze spawner right here and right here, but it's outside the border. Um, how can I do this? Because I need at least two blaze rods. Let's see. Can I even get close to it? Yeah, it's not activating because it's outside. Okay. Um, I don't know what to do, guys. Okay, I think I have an idea. I'm gonna make a new bridge that goes all the way up here. Since my old bridge is kind of janky. Wow, look at the amount of mobs up here. Wait, there's probably so many of them going through the portal. But my idea to get some mobs to spawn is to go pretty high up, since that way we can get some stuff to despawn down there. And then once I come back down, then we might have a chance of having blazes spawn. I'm not sure if that's gonna work, but I guess it's worth a try. Let's just mine all the way up to the roof real quick. Okay, here we are. Then I guess we can check the F3 screen to see if there's anything down there. Okay, so far 
I just see piglins, zombified piglins, piglin brutes. Wait, what? There must be a bastion close by, but I don't see any blazes. Not sure how I'm going to do this, guys. This might be kind of tricky because the mob cap is completely full with these guys right now, and they all keep coming up the stairs. Why? What's wrong with you guys? Okay, let's just go down here and see what we have so far. Are there any blazes? Okay, there's none. This is not going to plan. How can I get rid of these guys? I really don't want to try to farm them because that's going to be really, really dangerous. So I might just have to hope for them to despawn and then maybe eventually a blaze will spawn. I have no idea. But these guys keep walking up my stairs. <laughs> Stop. Why are there so many up here? I literally can't even get up here now. Oh my gosh, this is just chaos. Why do they feel the need to come up these stairs? That is so funny. Look at this. There's like all of them up here. Guys, <laughs> get out of my way. Oh no, I'm like accidentally going to hit one, aren't I? Um, okay, this is not safe. I should probably leave. Let's see here. Okay, we have a bit more space now, but they just keep coming up. <laughs> that is so funny. Why do they do that? If you guys have any answers, please tell me. But let's check the F3 screen again and see if we can see anything. Doesn't look like there's any blazes yet, so I might just wait up here for a little bit and see if any spawn. But I also have to do something about these guys. I think I might just build a new staircase. That one's just been overrun. Let's build a staircase over here instead. Oh my gosh, wait. I just came back through my portal and look at this. What is happening? Oh, this is a disaster. How am I gonna get rid of these guys? I hate the nether. Let's see, I might be able to kill that enderman though. Um, oh, there's two endermen, okay. How can I do this safely? Let's see here. Um, maybe if I hit one like this. Okay, they're all angry now. Here they come. And then I'm gonna go outside, hopefully leading them out here. Let's see, where are they? Come here, friends. Oh, here they come. Then I'm just gonna pillar up and see if I can kill them. Okay, yeah, they're all coming. Nice, this is good, but also very, very scary. All right, let's just try to get rid of these real quick. Okay, that should be all of them. Oh, I got a gold ingot from that, nice. Let's go see if there's any more down here. This is terrifying. Hello, are there any scary friends down here? Oh yeah, there's two in this boat. Let's get rid of these next. Let's see if we can push our enderman into it. <gasps> oh no, I accidentally hit him. Wait. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. My shield. Oh my gosh, that was so bad. Oh, that was a big mistake. But at least we didn't die though. Okay, I need to rethink my strategy to go to the nether. Clearly that did not work. Okay, first things first though, my inventory is completely overflowing. So let's empty all that out. And now let's see if I can come up with a better strategy to deal with the nether. Let's see here. Oh gosh, that guy scared me. And he just went through too. I think what I have to do is block off this portal or maybe build it into a small room. Let's see. Yeah, here's our friend. He just turned into one. Let's just try to kill him real quick. Okay, there we go. And I need to grab some blocks to block off my portal. I'm gonna build it into a little room. First, I'm gonna make some doors, grab some blocks, and I think that should be good to prevent unwanted friends from coming through here. Okay, let's just expand the area around the portal real quick, and then I'm gonna make a big room around it. I just saw another piglin go through. All right, but let's block all this off, something like this, and now I can add my door, and that should be enough to prevent anyone from coming through. Let's go take care of that baby, though. Oh, he's not holding anything. Go away. There we go. Okay, with that taken care of, let's see if I can get some blazes. Actually, hold on. One more thing I forgot. I need to place some torches inside of that room because otherwise things will be able to spawn in there. Here we go. We got some torches. Okay. Once again, I'm ready to go. Actually, hold on. One more thing. Just to prevent the random mob from coming through here, I'm also going to put a door on this portal since that way if any random mobs do come through here, then they'll be stuck inside of here and they won't cause me any problems, hopefully. Okay. It's blaze time. Quickly placing a few torches inside of here. All right. Let's go investigate now. Yeah. Still nothing has spawned. Interesting. It looks like we might have to wait for these spawners to get exposed because I don't really see any other way of doing this. All right, well, I guess we'll have to see how many days it's gonna take. It looks like we're about roughly eight days away from that. So it's kind of a super long time, but I know exactly what I can do in the meantime. And that's gonna be to get some more zombie villagers and maybe also some endermen for enderpearls since we are eventually gonna go to the end in this world and we have to have enough enderpearls for that. And then we're also gonna stock up on zombie villagers so we can have them once we get blaze rods. Because unfortunately without blaze rods, I can't cure them. But we still have plenty of stuff to do in the meantime. <gasps> Wait, oh my god, wait, wait, a sheep, a sheep. Oh my gosh, that was so lucky. I got it. Look at this. Okay, wow. I cannot believe I just got this guy. I just happened to be out here placing down my extra lava and there was a sheep close by. Oh, we finally got our sheep back. Um, what should I do with this guy? Let's see. I don't want him to wander into that lava. That would be terrible. So I think I'm just gonna put him into a little pit for the time being. And then I guess we can start working on building him a farm. Let's see. All right, in you go, sheep. Thank you very much. Nice, I can't believe we got that. That is insane. Okay, well, I guess we now 
have a side quest, and that's gonna be to build a sheep farm. Let's grab some wood, craft up some fences, and let's see here, where should I place this farm? I think over here should be good. Let's do a little bit of terraforming first. Okay, I think this should be a good area. Let's just make sure all of it down here is grass, though, since that's what sheep eat. Okay, nice. All right, let's start placing down all these fences. Something like this should work. Oh, and I should also get some fence gates. Oh, wait, maybe I don't have to. Let's use two iron to make some shears, and I'm gonna get some wool from this sheep so I can make some carpets. Yeah, here we go. Nice. Wait, no, don't escape. Oh, gosh. Um... Okay, follow me, friend. Let's bring you into here. Very nice. This is your new home, by the way. And then I'll go like this. And then I'll place some carpets to be able to get in and out easily. Something like that. Nice. Okay, here's our sheep farm. He doesn't have any friends, but I guess I'll just give him some wheat to make him happy. And let's see, are there any other sheep nearby? Yeah, there aren't. Oh, they're so far away now. Yeah, they definitely get farther away as the border expands. But maybe since I have this sheep now, then it'll want to attract these other ones. That's probably not how it works, though. But let's make sure to light all this up so we don't get any mobs. And there we have it. We finally have some animals in this world. That that is amazing. Wait. Oh, I hear zombies. Wait, what's going on in here? Oh, there's tons of things spawning in there. That is not good. Um, let's see here. How can I get rid of these guys? Hello. Our chicken friend is still there. He's still stuck though. This guy has an enchanted bow. Okay, nice. He's dead. Let's quickly go light that up. I'm gonna need some coal. Oh, my inventory is just exploding. Okay, more torches. Nice. Let's go light all this up. Oh, here's our chicken friend. Let's see. Can I attract him? Yeah, he sees me, but it's not working because he's stuck in the water. Oh, that's so sad. Okay, well, I guess in about six or seven days, we should be able to get this this guy. But it's back to the task at hand, and that's gonna be lighting up the rest of this world. <gasps> Wait a second. Look at this. In one day, we're gonna have access to oak trees. That's gonna be so good, because right now, I'm just stuck with cherry trees. I'm not complaining, though. Cherry trees are very pretty, but it would be nice to have access to some different types of wood. Oh, and also from the oak leaves, then we'll be able to get apples, and I need apples to make golden apples. Okay, that's gonna be super nice. I'll definitely have to make sure to come back here once the border expands. But let's keep lighting up the rest of the world here, because the world has expanded quite a bit since we last did that. Okay, and everything is all safe. Nice. We took quite a big detour to get this sheep, but I think we should go work on getting some more zombie villagers now. Let's just quickly see how bad the state of affairs is down here. Yeah. <gasps> Wait, there's one right there, but it's outside the border. And look at how chaotic this is. Oh my gosh. There are so many mobs down here. And they're getting stuck that there's so many. Hmm. Should I try to get this one? I don't know. Oh, wait. He might fall down. He just walked right over it? What? Why? Let's see if I can wash him in there. Yeah, go into the farm, please. Okay, I think it's working. Yeah. Okay, we got him. He's down on the farm. Nice. Okay, let's see here. Oh, he might have died, though, because there's so many down here. Let's see. First, I should probably isolate this, though. Wow, it is so loud. Oh, my gosh. Okay, isolating it off. Let's see here. <laughs> there are so many mobs in here. I'm probably going to break my axe doing this. I think I do see him, though. Okay, yeah, I need a new axe. Hold on. I should have thought this through. Okay, let's grab some wood real quick. Let's craft up a few new axes. I think two should be good. Okay, I really hope he's still there. Let's go investigate. All right. Hello. <gasps> yeah, he's still there. Nice. Okay. Oh, I just killed him. He walked right into my axe. Oh my gosh. Let's see. There might be another one in here though. Let's just make sure. Okay, there isn't. Oh, and I was so close to isolating him too. Okay, well, I guess that's fine. Let's see if there's anybody else in here. It doesn't look like it. It's just tons of creepers. Okay, yeah. No zombie villagers. All right, I guess I'll just go back up here and see if I can spot any from above. Let's see here. Okay, tons and tons of zombies, but it doesn't look like any zombie villagers. Yeah. Oh, I should do something about out here. Maybe I can place down some torches to prevent them from spawning outside of the farm. I think I should try that. Let's see here. I am going to need to make some more torches, though. There we go. 22. That should be more than enough. Okay. And I also have some lava with me, just in case things get bad. I can place down lava and kill a ton of mobs at once. Okay. Let's see here. Um, How do I get down there safely? I have no idea. I guess I'll place down some water to start with. And I'm also going to try to snipe all the skeletons. Okay, I think I got most of them. Just kidding, there's one more. Please don't shoot me. Oh my gosh, wow. He can shoot from that far? That is insane. I might have died to fall damage right there. But I think the only mobs that are left are spiders, which I guess I'll get rid of right now, just in case. I have so many arrows, so I might as well use them. Oh, look at this. I can shoot things outside the border. That is so cool. All right, I guess I'll just get rid of the rest of these mobs as well. I definitely have the arrows for it, so I might as well do that. Okay, everything should be all clear down here now. Let's go down and investigate. Okay, I'm gonna collect up all this stuff real quick and also snipe all the rest of these spiders. And now I guess I'll just try to light it up out here so they don't spawn. Yeah, I think this is perfect. It lights up only out here. Oh, this one's a little bit too close to the farm. Let's see. I'll try to go like this. Let's see. Yeah, nice. I'm basically trying to make it so there's light only outside of the farm and there's no light inside of the farm. Whoa, wait a second. Why did all these guys just spawn? I'm still like super close. Wait, what? Oh no, there's tons of mobs now. I didn't think they could spawn from that close. Well, I guess it's a good thing that I have a bow. No skeletons. Ah, go away. Okay, I need to place some light over there. Let's 
just get rid of all the skeletons first. Oh my gosh, that creeper just blew up that skeleton. <laughs> okay, we should be fairly safe. Are there any skeletons? Okay, no, just creepers. Oh wait, I'm out of hunger. Hold on. Oh, ah. Oh gosh, this is bad. No, why are they not dying? Please die. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's quickly place some more torches so this doesn't happen again. <gasps> wait, look at that. A zombie villager. Oh, and a baby zombie. Hold on. Oh, I don't have any blocks to mine up with. Hold on, let's place lava. No! He just, okay, well, this just went terribly. At least I didn't die, though. <laughs> That's the most important part. Oh, he killed my zombie villager. Okay, I need more light, like, right away. Hurry, 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 hurry. Place some more light. We got one creeper right here. Wait, oops. This is so chaotic. Okay, we should be safe for now. Let's do some more strategic lighting. Okay, everything is all successfully spawn-proofed. Everywhere outside of the farm is all lit up, and the only place that mobs can spawn is inside the farm. Let's see, who do we have down here? <gasps> Wait, is that a zombie villager? This one right here with the thing on his face? Maybe. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to go investigate. All right, let's go see. I really hope it is. Let's quickly block it off from any other mobs. It is a zombie villager. Okay, let's try to isolate him again. Last time was a failure, but I hope I can be better this time. Okay, these guys are all stuck right here. Let's see. Okay, um, let's see how I can separate them. There we go, it worked. Okay, we have all the zombies off to one side and the zombie villager on the left. There we go, now he's isolated. Okay, now all we have to do is place down some water right here and then we can let him out. And then hopefully if everything goes according to plan, he should just hop in that boat with his friend. There we go. Wow, that was amazing. Okay, perfect. He also picked up my stone sword, but that's fine. Okay, we now have two zombie villagers. That is some amazing progress. So let's quickly go empty out my inventory. It's always just completely overflowing. It's insane. And now, since we're kind of waiting on a lot of things at the moment, especially the blaze spawner in the nether, I think the world is finally big enough to build ourselves a house. So let's do that. I'm gonna need some wood, some cobblestone, and some deep slates. And I don't really have that many wood options to work with, so I guess we'll see how this turns out. But, hmm, where should I build my my house. We're kind of like on the side of a hill right here. <gasps> oh wait, hold on. Before we do that, let's see if we can get any saplings from this oak tree, since we finally have some leaves inside the border. Let's see, please. Okay, this is the last one. Okay, <laughs> we got nothing, but we'll still have plenty more chances once the world expands. But let's see here, where can I build my house? I might have to do quite a bit of terraforming. You know what? I think up here would be actually a pretty good spot. So I'm gonna relocate my sheep farm to go down here instead. Let's go grab some wheat to make this a little bit easier. Let's see, we have a second sheep over here, all the way over there. Come here, friend. I'll just put some wheat in my offhand just in case he decides to come over. But let's tear all this down now, and then I'm gonna move my sheep to come down here. All right, hello, friend. Let's just do a little bit of terraforming real quick. Okay, and now we can build our little enclosure. Okay, nice. All right, let's get to building our house now. Actually, wait, hold on. It just became nighttime. Let's have a quick nap so we can have a little bit more to work with. Oh my gosh, wait, look at that. This sheep just wandered in here. What? I barely caught that. That is ridiculous. That's the second time that's happened now. Let's bring this guy into our farm now. I can't believe that. All right, in you go. There we go. And now we can finally breed these. Oh my gosh. I never thought this day would come, to be honest. Oh wait, speaking of animals, hold on. Before we build our farm, let's go check on that chicken. Let's see if I have access to it yet. Oh, it's still just a little too far away. Away. Since it is quite a bit closer, let's see if I can use some seeds. All right, friend. No, it's still not gonna work. Ah, I'm so sad. I'll get to you soon. Don't worry. Just a few more days and we'll be able to get that guy. But let's get back to the task at hand and that's gonna be building our house. I'm first gonna do a bit of terraforming just to expand this area out a little bit. I think this is a pretty good size to work with. Actually, wait, hold on. One more thing to be distracted by. There's more oak leaves to go check out. Let's see, because I would like to use different wood types for my house. <gasps> okay, we got a sapling. Nice. Let's see if I can get any more. Okay, we got two. Nice. Any more? All right, that's it. Two saplings. But that's way more than we need. We only need one. Okay, hold on. I'll build my house after I get some more wood. Let's go back up to my wood farm now. Actually, I guess we could just build it right here. And now I am going to need some bone meal real quick. Something like this. And here we go. Our first oak tree. Nice. Can't believe it took us this long to get oak wood. That is insane. But we're getting even more saplings. And we got an apple. Okay, it's amazing. Nice. This is going to be so good. But I'm just going to stay here for a little bit and get a few more oak trees since I would like to use some oak wood for my my house. So I'll be back once I have enough wood. Okay, I chopped down quite a few oak trees, as well as all the cherry trees up on my tree farm. And I got just over a stack of oak logs and almost four stacks of cherry logs. So let's start building. I'm just gonna expand this out a couple more blocks since now we have more space. And now let's start building this house. I think I'm gonna start with some pillars of oak like this in the front. Then I'm gonna strip all of these. I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out, but I'm just gonna roll with it. Then I guess on the inside, we can use some cherry logs, maybe some variation of cherry planks as well. I'm gonna strip these logs too. That looks fairly decent. And now I'm also gonna craft up some oak stairs, and I'm gonna use those to add a few details here and there. Okay, this might take me a while to get it looking good, so I'm just gonna do a build time lapse, starting now.
Okay, after many days of work, here's the house. It doesn't look that amazing, to be honest. I didn't have access to that many blocks. I only have access to two wood types, so this is about the best I could do. But I still think it turned out fairly decent. But on the inside here, I moved in all my chests. And I also have an upstairs portion as well, where I'm smelting things. And where I also have a few more chests. And you might notice that inside the house right here is much bigger than it is on the outside. That's because I just dug it into the mountain to give us a little bit more space. But you can't even tell from over here. I just sneakily added some stone right here so you can't see it. And then some dirt on top right here. Nobody will ever know. But that's the house all complete. This is so much nicer than living underground. Since up here, I don't really have any threats from mobs. But the world has expanded quite a few times, so there are a few things I want to do. Let's head down here to where my farm is. And let's go check on that chicken. Okay, he's still here. Nice. But we're so close. I just heard a zombie though. Wait, what? Whoa, it's coming from this way. What's over here? Whoa. Oh, there's a cave over here. Oh, it's part of that giant cave. Wow, look at all the mobs. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna block this off for now. I can always deal with that later. But wait. Oh, look at this. This water source block is right here. If I grab that, then it should free this chicken. Let's see. Oh, he's also laying eggs. Let's see. Once the water goes away, I should be able to bring him through the border. Let's see. Come on. You're so close. I did it. Oh my gosh. Can I grab these eggs? Let's see. Okay, we got some eggs too. Wow. We finally rescued this chicken. He stayed in that water stream for so long. But let's bring him out here to where the rest of my animals are. Come here, friend. I can't believe I actually have animals in this world. That is crazy. Okay, and then I'm just gonna push him in. Nice. All right, so we do have one egg. Let's see if we can get two chickens. Okay, no luck. But just to make my friend happy, I'm gonna give him some seeds. Oh, he loves me. <laughs> okay, but now the real question is if we're gonna have access to the blaze spawner yet. Since it's been quite a few days, I think it should be exposed by now, right? Let's just drop off my extra items. And let's go check it out. I really, really hope we have access to it. I've waited for so long. Whoa, okay. So it looks like some mobs are in here. Okay. I have my gold boots on, so that's good. Don't wanna make anybody mad. Let's see. Oh, the nether has gotten quite a bit bigger. Look at that. Okay, let's see here. I really hope we can use that blaze spawner. Let's see here. <gasps> Wait, okay. It's like either right next to the border or right inside of the border. Can't tell. Let's gather up some blocks real quick, though. Let's bridge over and see. It's so hard to tell. Okay, yeah, it's just outside the border. Oh my gosh. And it's not even activating when I'm close by. Oh, okay. I guess we'll have to wait one more day. But I guess in the meantime, I can get this area ready for killing blazes. Since it's going to be pretty dangerous, so I want to make sure I'm safe. I'm going to expand this platform out a bit. I'll do something like this. And then I think for safety, I'm going to box all of it in. But I am going to need some more blocks for that, though. So let's quickly head home and get my tons of extra cobblestone. Here we go. And then I think I'm also going to bring a door with me. Since that way I can fully enclose it and just turn it into a blaze killing chamber. But let's go back and build this. Okay, we have to work fast before the border expands. And look at this, a chicken. I would be so excited right now if I didn't already have one. But yeah, as I was saying, we have to work really fast before the border expands. Since as soon as it expands, this blaze spawner will become active. And I need to be ready for that. I don't want it to take me by surprise. So let's just enclose all of this. And I'm not sure if they're going to be able to go outside the border. But I guess we're about to find out. Okay, am I ready? I don't know. This door might burn too. This seems so not safe. Okay, well, I think I'm ready to go. So I'll head back to the overworld to sleep so we can expand the border. I really hope this works. All right, let's sleep. Oh, I just saw the border expand. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. I'm so scared. Okay, let's see. I can't tell if it expanded or not. Did it? Okay, it did. Yep, there's blazes spawning. Okay, um, oh, they spawn so fast. Why? Um, what do I do? Let's try to just block this in real quick like this. Oh, I need fire resistance. How am I gonna do this safely? This just seems so dangerous. Okay, there's already so many. Oh, wait for them to shoot their fireballs. Okay, we got one. Okay, I only need two. Oh, why are they outside the border? I can't hit them. I need to eat real quick just to make sure I'm on full health. Okay, my shield's taking quite a beating too. Oh gosh, hold on, I'm on fire. Retreat, retreat. Oh, there's one outside the border. Why? Oh my gosh. Maybe I can shoot it with my bow. Yeah, there we go. Looks like that's working. Ah, oh, he hit me. I swapped out my boots for these fire protection ones, and I think it's working pretty good because I'm not burning for nearly as long. Oh, there's so many in there. Ah, please die. Oh gosh, hold on. Escape. This is so bad. Oh, what do I do? Let's let them all shoot real quick. Oh gosh, did he drop one? Nope. Oh, he dropped one, he dropped one. Okay, we have two. That's all I need. Let's leave. Oh my gosh, that was so dangerous. Okay, we're good to go. I can finally cure some zombie villagers. That was definitely worth the risk, but my heart is pounding right now. Oh, I left the door open on accident. Oops. Let's see who's waiting for me over on this end. Okay. Oh, it's a baby. Wait, how did he get out? This door was closed. That doesn't make any sense, but I guess I can kill him. Okay, there we have it. I can finally cure some zombie villagers. This was so many days in the making, but I finally have all the necessary ingredients. All right, let's make 
make a brewing stand, which I think I'll place right here. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm not ready because I need some glass bottles. Oh my gosh. It's always something. Um, okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to go down into the mob farm and kill some witches because those can give me glass bottles. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, but it sounds very scary down here. Let's see. Oh, this is too dark right here. Let's light that up. Oh, the world has grown so much since I've last been down here. There's probably gonna be a bunch of places where mobs can spawn. Okay, but look, we still have our two friends, so that's good. And I guess we just have to sit here until I get some glass bottles. That's kind of the only option. So I'll be back once I have some glass bottles. Okay, this took quite a while, but check this out. I got four glass bottles and an extra one as a potion of healing. So now I think we finally have all the ingredients to cure these zombie villagers. I'm gonna need two golden apples, and for that I'll need 16 gold, which I just have enough, so let's smelt this up. Okay, perfect. Let's craft up two golden apples. Very nice. All right, and now we have to grab two sugar, two spider eyes, two gunpowder, and two brown mushrooms. Oh wait, I'm actually not gonna need two, I'm just gonna need one. Let's just make one fermented spider eye. Now we can pop these bottles into here. Actually, hold on. They have to be water bottles first. Let's fill them up right here. And then I'll put these into my brewing stand alongside my fermented spider eye. And that should be everything we need to craft a potion of weakness. Let's see. I really hope I was correct. I'm pretty sure you don't need nether wart though, right? Let's see. Okay, potion of weakness. And now some gunpowder to turn these into splash potions. There we go. Okay, I have my potions of weakness and my golden apples. That's everything I'm gonna need. So let's do this. I'm so scared. This is like a super important step, so I really hope I don't mess it up. All right, let's head down to my zombie villagers. Let's close this to be extra safe. Okay, and here goes nothing. Let's splash both of these guys with a potion of weakness and then give them both golden apples. Wait, let's make sure I'm doing this right. One and two. There we go. Okay, they're both curing. I can't believe this. We're finally gonna have villagers. Oh, wait, how am I gonna get them up to the surface? Um, I guess I'll deal with that later, but I'm gonna have to stay here the entire time they cure since one could cure before the other and then the other one will just convert the other one right back to a zombie villager and i don't want that to happen at all because i just used all of my gold so i'm just gonna sit and wait here until they both cure Oh, there we go. One just cured. That was actually super fast. And now, as long as I'm standing here, this guy's going to be targeted on me and not this villager. So this villager should be safe as long as I'm standing here. I can't believe we have villagers in this world. That is insane. And also, as I've been AFKing at this farm, I've gotten some pretty decent bows. Power three, punch one. Oh, wait, they both just cured. That was extremely fast. But there we have it. We have two cured villagers. I can't believe this. Um, now what am I going to do with these guys? It might be kind of hard to bring them up to the surface. So maybe for the time being, I just build them a space down here. I don't know. But before I let them out of that boat, I want to get two workstations. I'm probably going to turn the two of them into farmers. Those workstations are extremely easy to craft up. It's just composters. There we go. All right, so let's go give these guys some jobs. Okay, they're still safe. Nice. Um, actually, I think I have a better idea. <laughs> Quick change of plans. I think it would be best if I actually did bring them to the surface. And I have an idea on how I'm going to do that. First, we have to head to the nether. Whoa! What? Why is he breaking down this door? What? Why? These guys can break down doors? Okay, that is something I did not know. But as I was saying, first we have to head to the nether, since I need to get some soul sand to make a bubble elevator. Let's see, am I wearing my gold boots? Okay, I am. Okay, there's some soul sand all the way down here. Nice. Let's gather up some blocks. Let's work my way down here now. Oh wait, I think there's blazes spawning. Ah, please don't attack me. Okay, where's the soul sand? It's all the way down here. Okay, I think I might just drop down. Okay, that was quite a bit of damage, but we now have some soul sand. Let's gather up a few blocks of this. I think eight blocks is more than enough for right now. All right, so let's head back home. Let's head down here now. Right over here, I'll place down a block of soul sand. Oh, but now we have to turn all this into source blocks. How am I gonna do that? Because I don't have any kelp. Okay, I think I have an idea. It might take a while though. Let's come down here, and then right down here, I'll make an infinite water source. And then I guess we'll just place down sources of water going all the way up. Oh wait, hold on. I need some signs. I think just three should be enough. Taking a quick nap. Okay, and now I can head down here and then place down some signs like this. There we go. Okay, now we can start placing down all the water sources. This might take quite a while though. Okay, here we go. That's the last one. All right, let's see if this works now. Oh wait, hold on. Oh, drowning. Let's place down some soul sand. And it looks like it's working. Yeah, nice. Okay, that's what I'm gonna use to transport my villagers all the way up here. All right, now I have my two job site blocks and I should be able to let these villagers out of their boat now. Here we go. Let's see if I can lure them. Does anyone want a job? Okay, this guy wants a job. Nice. I'm just gonna lure them up these stairs like this. Okay, they're both 
coming. Nice. Look at that. This is working actually really good. Okay. Both of them are coming over here now. Okay. That one has a job. Now I should be able just to push him up here. Okay. Is it going to work? Oh, one of them is almost in. Okay. And I sent them both up. Okay. Perfect. Let's see. Okay. They're both up here. Nice. Let's place down both of their job sites. Okay. It's working. Nice. Oh, this guy's going all the way up. Where are you going to? Interesting. Wow. They're both just climbing the stairs on their own. I don't even have to do anything. Look at this. Oh, he was looking at the cauldron. Interesting. Okay. Um, well, I guess I'll have to get rid of this stuff. Wait, if I break this, will the lava escape? Ooh, I don't know. I'm kind of scared. I don't want to kill those villagers on accident. Let's just take all the lava out of it just to be extra safe. Wait, now they're going all the way up here. Why are they so cooperative? These are like amazing villagers. Wait, they're going into the house now. Wait, these are the best villagers ever. They're just going everywhere where I want them to go without me even saying anything. That is so good. Okay, let's bring both of them back over here now. Oh, this guy was attracted to the barrels in here. Okay, I guess I'll have to get rid of that real quick. Now they both want to be farmers. Okay, cool. Um, let's just make a little temporary trading area real quick. I'm gonna grab some cherry logs and some fences. Oh, he's claimed this bed. How cute. All right, so I guess I'll just do my villager area somewhere down here. Maybe next to my animals would be a good spot. This is just gonna be super temporary though. All right, so I guess I'll just do something like this. I'm treating these villagers like animals. All right, friends, I have some jobs for you. Okay, it is becoming nighttime, so they might not want to take these jobs. But let's see. Maybe if I place a bed too, that might work. Okay, this one seemed to track it to this bed. That's good. I guess I gotta go over here and steal this bed from this one. Sorry, friend. <laughs> then I'll place this bed down here. Okay, is it gonna work? Okay, here he comes. Nice. I can't believe this is working. This is literally a dream come true. All right, friends, in you go. Okay, nice. I'm also gonna sleep myself. Okay, somehow these guys are able to escape. That's not very good. So I'm gonna have to change the shape of this real quick, I think. Let's go something like this. There we go. All right, now you should go in there. Okay, perfect. We finally have two villagers. Let's see what their trades are. Okay, both of them wanna trade wheat, but I probably want something better than that. Ideally, some carrot or potato trades. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, a second chicken wandered into the border. So I was able to breed these chickens and now I have three of them. And I've also been breeding my sheep as well and I have tons of them now. We finally had the things I thought were almost impossible to get. Animals and villagers. Okay, but first I'm gonna need to empty out my inventory since it's just completely overflowing. All right, now that I have some inventory space, let's grab some wheat, some carrots, and some potatoes. Oh, you know what? I'm also gonna need some beds because I wanna breed these villagers as well. And I definitely have enough wool for that. Nice. Okay, let's just go lock in these guys' trades though. This guy's just standing in the composter. Okay, let's see. Nothing very good. Let's just quickly reset these guys' trades. Carrots and beetroots. I don't have any beetroots, so ideally I want carrots and potatoes, or maybe carrots and wheat. Okay, carrots and potatoes. Nice. Let's lock this guy in. Look at that. What a deal. All right, let's try to get the other guy to trade us some good stuff. I think I want this one to trade me potatoes and wheat. That would be the best trade, I think. Okay, he does carrots and wheat. Um, I'm gonna reroll. I really want potatoes and wheat. This guy's also carrots and potatoes. Hmm, that might be a good trade. I don't know. No, I'm gonna stick to potatoes and wheat. I feel like that's the most ideal second trade. Okay, and here it is. Nice. Let's lock this guy in. There we go. We now have two farmers with locked in trades. And also, also, since I cured them from zombie villagers, their trays are quite discounted as well. All right, but now I want to craft some beds for these guys. And then I also need to expand their area as well, since we're about to have a whole lot more villagers. All right, let's grab my wool and some wood, crafting up some beds. I think four is a good start. All right, let's go expand this villager area. Okay, nice. We have a bigger area now. And now I'm going to place down some beds, something like this. And now I just have to throw them some food so they can breed. Let's grab some potatoes and carrots. And let's see if this works. All right. Here you guys go. That's six stacks of food. That should be enough, right? Okay, they're sharing food. That's very good. And look at that. It's working. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. They just keep throwing the food back and forth. That's so funny. I probably gave them too much. Wait, can I have some food back? Oh wait, look at that. There we go. We now have a baby villager. That is amazing. All right, now I should probably go... Whoa, what is going on? I hear a door trying to be broken down. Is it over here? Yeah, they just broke the door. Oh my gosh. I can't believe they can do that. That is so annoying. I might have to replace this with an iron door. But let's heal up real quick and then exterminate this guy. Nice. All right, but as I was saying, I'm going to need to harvest up all my food since I'm going to need to sell this to get some emeralds. And then with all those emeralds, I'll be able to buy some super good stuff. Stuff that would be basically impossible to get in this world without villagers. Wait, they're already sleeping? Why? I still have trades to do with you. All right, but I guess since they're sleeping, I'll also sleep myself. And there we have it. We're halfway through the challenge. We're on day 50. I didn't think I would ever make it this far, to be honest. I'm gonna tell you a secret, though. This is actually my third attempt. This is such a hard challenge. But this is the farthest that I've made it so far. So I really hope the good luck continues. But let's get back to the task at hand, and that's trading with my villagers. To do that, I'm gonna need lots and lots of crops that I can sell for lots and lots of emeralds. All right, I'm gonna spend a few days doing this now, and I'll be back once I have these guys leveled up, and also once this guy has grown up. Guys, oh my gosh, I just saw something insane. There's a pig right next to the border. Come on. 
please. I did it. Oh my gosh. I can't believe this. I'm bringing so many animals to the border. It's amazing. I guess as the world expands, then more and more animals get close to the border. And then they'll eventually wander towards it. But I've made some pretty good progress with my villagers. I have both of these almost leveled up to their second level. And we have three new babies now. But we still have quite a bit of work to do. So I'll be back once that's all done. Whoa. Okay. Well, looks like we have our first iron golem. And that first baby is finally an adult now. Let's see. Are they going to make another villager? Wow. This is going so fast. I gave them way too much food at the start, I think. Yeah, look, another baby. I do not want to have an iron golem close to me like this. This is terrifying. But now that we have one more adult villager, it's time to give him a super useful job. But first, I'm going to have to smelt up some cobblestone into stone, and then that stone into smooth stone. There we go. And then we'll use that to craft a blast furnace. Since with a blast furnace, I can get an armorer. Let's see. All right, who's going to become the armorer? This guy is. Okay, nice. Oh, I can buy iron boots for one emerald? I guess I'll have to do that to level him up. Let's just buy a ton of iron boots. Oh my gosh. Wait, my inventory is overflowing now. Let's go stash these away with my extra armor. Now let's see what he's trading with his upgrade. Okay, chainmail leggings. Guess I'll just do that to upgrade him. There we go. Okay, now what's next? Please be some diamond stuff. Okay, just a chainmail chest plate. Okay, guess I'll have to do this as well to level him up. All right, now what? Please diamond. There we go. We got diamond leggings and diamond boots. Let's buy one of each. Oh, and I'm already all out of emeralds. Okay, well, looks like we're gonna have to do some more trading. But let's swap these out for my gold boots. Look at that, our first piece of diamond armor. I only found four diamonds down in the mines, so it's great that we have villagers to get some diamond armor, because I don't think I would ever find enough diamonds for a full set of diamond armor. So it's really nice that we have villagers now, but I'm gonna need to harvest up some more crops to get some more emeralds, and then we'll use that to buy some more armor. Let's see, let's grab some bones for bone meal, and then I'll get back to harvesting all this up. Actually, you know what? This is kind of an extremely slow way that I'm doing this, so I think I should build a micro crop farm. Those are usually pretty easy to build, and it should give me a ton of items super fast. Oh yeah, look at that. I have over a stack of redstone that's amazing. And then I'm also going to need some cobblestone as well as an extra bow. And then I'll use this to craft a dispenser. There we go. All right. And now I just need to smelt up some more cobblestone into stone. I'll also need to craft up some redstone torches. And then we can use that stone and those torches to craft some repeaters. I think I'm just going to need two of them. All right. So here we go. Okay. Let's build this thing. It should be super easy to build. And I'm just going to build it next to my villagers. And it's going to go something like this. We're going to have a dispenser right here. Inside of it will be some bone meal. And then right below the dispenser will be some water. And then we can turn this into some farm land. And then behind it, we have to do a little bit of redstone circuitry. We're going to do two repeaters like this, connect it up with some redstone. And I should be able to go like this. Okay, hold on. We have to build this one block higher. We'll do something like this. Okay, is it working? Yeah, it's working. Nice. Now, if I place some potatoes right here, then it grows them. And then I can just sit here and do this all day. This is way faster than doing it all by hand. And then as soon as I have enough potatoes, I can just go straight to my villagers and then trade them for some emeralds. All right, let's get some more emeralds. Actually, hold on. I have one idea to make this go faster. Let's head in here and grab a bucket of lava. And then right next to here, I'm going to place it down, quickly turn it into obsidian. Now I should be able just to look right here and then plant and harvest these crops way faster if this guy wouldn't get in my way. All right, I'm going to stay here for just a little bit and get some more emeralds. Okay, I used up all my bones for bone meal. So I think the next two villagers I'm going to get are going to be Fletchers. And then I'm going to reset them until they give me a stick trade. Okay, this one has a stick trade. Nice. So now I'm just going to have to head up to my tree farm and get a ton of wood. Oh, and also look at this. I have all diamond armor except for a chest plate now. And the chest plate is super expensive, so it might might take me quite a while to get it. So let's gather up a ton of wood that I can turn into sticks. So that way we can get even more emeralds. All right, I have tons of logs. Let's turn these all into sticks and then trade them for some emeralds. Okay, let's see here. He's upgraded. And how expensive is this chest plate? Oh, it's 22. I can afford it. And it has protection too. Nice. Okay, check this out. We finally have full diamond armor. But I don't want to stop here because I also want to get full diamond tools. And for that, I'm going to have to craft up a smithing table so we can get ourselves a toolsmith. Let's see, who's going to become the toolsmith? Is it you? Oh, it's this guy. Okay. Okay, let's start leveling him up. Oh, and I'm already out of emeralds. Oh gosh, this might take quite a while, but I'll be back once I have this guy all leveled up. Okay, I've made some pretty good progress. Over here at my toolsmith, I have him almost leveled up to master, and he's unlocked an enchanted iron pickaxe, silk touch diamond shovel, and a diamond hoe. Oh wait, I can level him up. Nice. Okay, let's see what he's trading now. Okay, a diamond pickaxe. Nice. Okay, so we have all the diamond tools, but we still have to get a diamond sword and a diamond axe. And for that, I'm gonna need a weaponsmith. That's what this grindstone is for. Okay, hello friend. Let's buy all these iron axes from him. Okay, and once again, I'm all out of emeralds, so I'll be back once I have the weaponsmith all leveled up. Okay, yet again, it's been quite a while, but I've also made quite a bit of progress. If I can find my weaponsmith, where is he? Here we go. I have him almost fully leveled up, and I've been killing a ton of iron golems, and I also went for a little mining trip, and I finally have enough iron to level him up. Here we go. Okay, let's see what he offers. Please, some diamond stuff. Okay, um, I guess I'll have to use more iron to level him up. It's a good thing I have extra. Okay, let's see now. Diamond axe, okay. Nice. I'm pretty sure his next trade
is going to be a diamond sword, but all the trades to level him up to master are all super expensive. I'm not about to trade him diamonds, and I don't have that much flint with me, so I'm probably just going to have to buy tons of diamond axes. That might take an extremely long time, but at least I can farm these guys. And it's actually great because they usually spawn right there, and for some reason they can't move. So I've just been able to snipe them with my bow and then collect some easy iron after. But I'm going to need a ton of emeralds for this, so I'll be back once I have all of that. Oh, these diamond tools are so nice. Oh, and I can also instant mine leaves with my diamond hoe too. That is going to make this go so much faster. But it's time to get some more wood, and I'll be back once I have enough emeralds. Okay, once again, I've done a ton of work, and we're finally ready to level up this weaponsmith. Let's see, here he is. I've gotten so much iron from just killing these guys. But here we go. All right, please give me a diamond sword. And there we go. Sharpness too, not bad. And only for 10 emeralds too. But look at that. Full diamond armor and full diamond tools. That is amazing. But now that I have full diamond armor and full diamond tools, I think it's time we get some good enchantments on these. <gasps> oh, wait, a cat. Wait, I just saw it. Oh yeah, here it is. I don't have any fish to tame it though, so we'll just have to let him be. But let's go down into the stronghold and see if we have access to that library yet. Since in the library, there's tons and tons of books. Also, it's been a really long time since I've been down here, so I need to be extremely careful. There's probably so many new areas for mobs to spawn. Okay, yeah, wow, look at how big it is down here. Whoa, we have access to so much. Look at all these rooms. Oh my, wow. Okay, I don't even know where to begin. Let's try over here. Oh yeah, look, it's all dark in here. I guess I'll just light these areas up as I go. But wow, we actually have access to so much of the stronghold now. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. Oh wait, silverfish. Hold on, let's see here though. Ooh, diamonds. That's actually amazing. Okay, hold on. We need to go break that silverfish spawner. Let's see, do I even have access to the full portal? Oh wow, I do. Okay, well, once we're ready, we can go to the end. But I still need to get some good enchantments first. Let's see, I know there's a library around here somewhere. I saw it. Maybe it's down here? Oh, there's a skeleton in there. Let's try out my new armor. Okay, it's fairly decent. Let's light all this up though. Yeah, wow, we have access to so much. This is crazy. I hear so many mobs down here too. Whoa, go away. I don't like this. Oh, whoa. Oh my gosh. Okay then. I guess that creeper just took care of all those mobs for me. Okay, although we do have full diamond armor and tools, since we don't have many protection enchantments, this stuff is actually not that amazing. I'm still taking tons of damage. Okay, yes, fight each other. Oh, look at that. He's like strafing on the side of the wall. Oh, there's the library. Okay, I finally found it. Let's just grab this extra iron real quick though. I can't believe how big the world is now. This is insane. Okay, here we go. Look at all these books that we have access to. Um, you know what? Maybe I should be mining these with silk touch. There we go. I only need 15 bookshelves, but let's get around 25 just to be safe. Because I kind of have no idea where I am right now, and I don't want to have to come back. Let's see here. Oh, more eye armor trims. Nice. Okay, a fairly decent book. Might as well just take it. Who knows? Maybe it'll come in handy. <gasps> Whoa, a chicken. That's kind of funny. Let's go light this up real quick and get rid of this guy. Okay, a few more bookshelves left to go. Yeah, I have 27 now. I think that's fine. Let's just quickly check this chest down here. Okay, another eye armor trim, but that's about it. Okay, let's head home. And this world is so big now that I don't even know where to go. I'm completely lost. Oh, wait, but we do have some lapis though. Let's grab that. That's going to be super useful for enchanting. And we also have some more iron over here. Oh, and some more mobs. Quick, escape. I think I came down over here, right? Yeah, okay. I can see all my torches. Okay, I know where I am now. Nice. Okay, we're back at the surface. Whoa, and there's a lot more iron for me waiting. But it looks like it's just about to become nighttime. So let's sleep real quick. And now it's time to build an enchanting setup. I have two diamonds right here and then a bunch of lava right here, which I'll turn into obsidian. I only need three pieces though. Oh, wait. No, I need four pieces, actually. There we go. And now that I have a diamond pickaxe, I can actually mine this stuff. It's amazing. Okay, four pieces. Now it's time to craft an enchanting table. All right, here we go. Now I'm not sure where I'm going to put it just yet. Um, I'll probably build a better area for it later, but maybe I can just put it right here. I think right next to my house should be fine. Okay, let's place down my bookshelves and let's test it out. It should be level 30, right? Okay, there we go. All right, now I'm going to need a grindstone to disenchant my current stuff, which I'll craft up like this. Okay, let's start with my pickaxe. It only has efficiency three, so I think it's safe to disenchant enchanted. Let's see. Fortune 3. Oh, wow. And Unbreaking 3 and Efficiency 4. Oh my gosh. I don't think it gets any better than that. Okay, nice. That was a great first enchantment. And we also have tons of levels, so this should go pretty smooth. Let's try my sword next. It only has sharpness 2. Let's see. Knockback 2. Okay, definitely not. Let's try my chest plate, maybe. Okay, Unbreaking 3. Should I risk it? Let's see. Okay, Protection 3, Unbreaking 3, and Thorns 2. That's not terrible. I'll definitely keep it. I guess let's try my boots next. Protection 3. Okay, it's not bad. I'll keep that. Let's try my leggings next. Unbreaking 3 
3, Fire Protection 4. Not amazing, but I guess I'll just keep it for now. Then I'll try my Helmet next. Respiration 3 and Protection 3. Honestly, not bad. Let's see. Let's try my Sword one more time. It's still saying Knockback 2. Why? Let's try a Book Enchantment. Ooh, Sharpness 3. That's pretty good. Let's see. It's still saying Knockback 2 on my Sword. Oh my gosh. Um, maybe I'll just do a little Level 1, and then so I can reroll it. Let's try again. Sharpness 3. Okay, let's see. If I combine it with this, then I'll have Sharpness 4. Um, okay, that's a pretty good start, but I think the next step is to get an Anvil. We do have some Iron over here. Let's see if I can get these guys to aggro on me. Come here, friends. Okay, he's coming. Ooh, these things are so scary. Wait, why is he not angry anymore? Get mad. There we go. Okay, let's farm up some iron. Okay, I got eight iron from that. Let's see what else I have in my house. Okay, 15 and then 12 that needs to be smelted. That's probably not going to be enough for an anvil though, but I guess we can just see. Okay, 35 iron. You know what? I think that might actually be enough. Yeah, it is. Okay, there we go. We have an anvil now. Let's place that right here. And let's see. I think I want to try for some better enchantments on a different sword real quick. Ideally, I want looting three since we're going to need ender pearls to go to the end. So let's see if I can buy up another sword real quick. Yeah, they're super cheap. Just 10 emeralds. Okay, perfect. And then I'll disenchant it. Let's see. Fire aspect. No, thank you. What else? And knockback two in my book. Oh, it's like taunting me. Um, okay. This might take a while, so I'll just be back once I have a good sword. I'm gonna need to do lots and lots of re-rolling, and I'll probably also have to buy a few more swords as well. All right, I burned through all of my levels, but I finally have some decent tools. I have a looting two, sharpness four, diamond sword, an unbreaking three, silk touch, efficiency four, diamond axe, a fortune three, unbreaking three, efficiency four, diamond pickaxe, a silk touch, diamond shovel, protection three on my boots and helmet, protection four on my my chest plate and fire protection on my leggings. Not the best enchantments, but I think it's a pretty good start. But we can definitely do a lot more to get some better enchantments. And I have just the idea. If I grab some slabs, I can craft a lectern. Maybe I'll do two of these. And then with that, I can make a librarian villager. Oh wait, it's nighttime. Let's sleep. Oh, I missed 64 days. We were on a stack of days, but now we're on 65. All right, it's a brand new day and the villagers are all awake. Let's see if I can get some librarians. All right, he's a librarian. Let's see. He's not offering anything good. Whoa, look at that. Protection four on the first try? Wait, that's kind of insane. Oh, and I have exactly what I need to buy it. Let's lock this guy in. Oh my gosh, wow. That is so lucky. That like never happens to me. It always takes me so long to re-roll these guys to get some good trades. And whoa, Silk Touch like first try on this guy too? That is insane. But I think I want to get looting three from him. Or maybe sharpness five. I'm not really sure. But I'm just going to keep re-rolling him until I get a good trade. And you know what? This is kind of annoying. There's so many villagers over here. That'll make things a little bit less annoying. Okay, let's re-roll until we get a good sharpness enchantment or looting three. Okay, hold on. This is actually really annoying. <laughs> I have a better idea on how to do this. There's just way too many villagers in there, so it's not going very fast. But let's see if I can maybe abduct one of these guys. Here we go. And then I'm going to bring him outside, making sure none of his friends escape. And then I'm also going to grab some more fences. And then I'll make this villager his own little area. And then he'll be the only one that's going to have access to this workstation. And it should be a lot easier this way. All right, let's let him out. And let's see if he wants to become a librarian. There we go. Okay, now I can re-roll this guy in peace. I'll be back once he's offering a good enchantment. Oh my gosh, that was way faster than I was expecting. <laughs> Look at that, we got got looting three. Okay, I do need to get some more emeralds though, because right now I have zero. Let's chop down some more trees, turn them into sticks, and trade them for some emeralds. Let's see, how expensive is it? It's 15 emeralds. Okay, I'll be back once I have 15 emeralds. Okay, I think I should finally have enough emeralds. Let's see here. 20 emeralds, okay. <gasps> Wait, he changed his trade. Oh my gosh. Whoa, he just reset again. I just, what? That is so weird. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to re-roll this guy some more. Oh, infinity. Hmm, that's fine. I need fortune three or sharpness. Oh, fortune two again. I'm gonna keep re-rolling. Oh wait, it's thundering. Oh my gosh. Oh, let's sleep. Okay, back to re-rolling. Let's see. Multi shots. No, thank you. Whoa. Power five for 19. Oh, that is very tempting. I think I should do it. Yeah, let's just lock him in. Okay, now I guess I'm gonna have to get another librarian so I can get either looting or sharpness. But right now my method of getting emeralds is terrible. It's taking so long to get just a few emeralds. So I think I have an idea on how we can fix that. And that's gonna be with an iron farm. Since if you see here, my villagers buy iron for emeralds. So I think that should be a pretty good way to make tons and tons of emeralds. And we also have quite a few extra villagers. So this should be pretty easy. Let's just gather up all the materials that I'll need to build this as well as some workstations to lure them. And here we go. We have to build this up in the sky. So I guess I'll just build it in this corner of the world right here. Being extremely careful not to fall off. Okay. I fell right as I was saying that, but let's continue this staircase over in this direction. And I think right here should be high enough. So let's build ourselves a little platform. And now let's see if I can lure some villagers up here. 
Let's see, how am I gonna do this without letting all of them out? I might have to wait until nighttime for them to all be sleeping, and then I'll be able to break the beds of the ones that I wanna bring up there. Okay, it is right about to be nighttime, so this is perfect timing. Okay, they're all going to sleep. Perfect. Let's wait for them to all be in bed, and then I can start abducting these guys. All right, so let's place a bed right here. Wait, he went back to sleep? Why? There we go. Please path find to that bed. Thank you very much. Okay, I guess not. Why is this not working? This is weird. Okay, here we go. Wait, oh, he's going to the bed in my house. Oh, don't do that. That is so annoying. Hold on. Let's go break that real quick. Okay, he's sleeping in that bed. Nice. Now I just have to get two more. Let's do one right here. I'll place this bed over here. These guys are trying to get these beds down here. I don't know why. Why are you like this? Let's just break and replace a few of these beds. Okay, he's going there now. That's good. Okay, we just need one more villager. Let's see. This one right here. Let's place this bed over here. Okay, and there we go. We have our three villagers. Now I can isolate the rest of them, and then I can start bringing them up one by one. I'm gonna break this guy's bed, and then we'll go up these stairs, and I'll place this bed right here. Let's see. Is this gonna work? Okay, maybe not. That might be too far away. Let's see. What about here? There we go. That's working. I'll place it up here now. Okay, it's working. Nice. Also, look at the world from up here. It's gotten so much bigger. It's almost unrecognizable to what it was in the first few days, but it looks like this is working pretty good. And I think this should be the last bed to get him all the way up here. Let's see. If I break this, and there he goes. Okay, perfect. And now I'm just gonna have to do the same thing with the other two villagers. Okay, success. We have three villagers up here now. Now I'm gonna sleep as well. Okay, and now it's a very nice day number. This guy down here is being kind of weird though. Don't know what he wants. He's probably trying to pathfind to that barrel in my house. Let's just go down there and break it real quick. Or maybe if I place some blocks in front of it, he'll forget about it. Let's see. What is he looking at? Oh, he's looking at this grindstone. Is he done? Why are you like this? I hate villagers. He's still just looking at something. What are you looking at? I'm pretty sure it was the grindstone, but I just broke it, so I don't know. Okay, he forgot about it. Nice. All right. Finally. Okay, can you go up, please? Oh, I'm gonna, like, accidentally push him off or something. Okay, there we go. All right, now that I have all three villagers up here, it's time to start building the base of this iron farm. I guess I'll just do it right over here. I've built this iron farm so many times before that I have it basically memorized. So let's just build it up real quick. There's gonna be one villager in each pod, each with their own bed like this. And now we just have to build up the walls. Please move. Thank you. <laughs> No! Oh my gosh, he just fell. Why? This guy pushed him off. I hate villagers. Let's just push this guy in here for now. Now he can't escape. That is so frustrating. Let's see if I can lure this guy. Here we go. All right, he wants to take this job. That's good. Maybe I can get him to go in with his friend. Okay, come get your job. Nice. He's up here. Now I can just push him in, please. Okay, we have two. I'm gonna have to get one more though, so let's do that real quick. I can't believe that villager just pushed his friend off. That's not a very good friend. Okay, this might be kind of tricky. How can I get one of these guys to escape? I don't like this. Let's see. Let's try to get a guy with the grindstone all the way over here. Okay, here he comes. Okay, let's see if I can get him to escape. Oh no, I fell. Okay, I'm gonna try to push him out real quick. There we go. He's out. Okay, now I should be able to use this grindstone to lure him. Let's see, is it working? Nice. Okay, I'm just gonna have to do this until I get him all the way up to the top. I guess that wasn't a huge setback, just mildly tragic. We saw a villager betray his friend. Okay, complete your job. Nice. This is working pretty good, actually. Okay, I spoke too soon. I'll just be back once he's moved in up there. Oh, he just went back in? Oh my, okay. It's official. I hate villagers. Okay, Okay, it's working. Nice. Let's push him in. There we go. Okay, we now have three villagers, so let's keep building this farm. Okay, it looks like they're all going to sleep, except for this guy. Hmm, what's going on with that? Maybe I could break and replace his bed? Hello? I think he wants this bed. Um, I'm so confused. He's sleeping now, and okay. I have to make sure they can all sleep, because that's a pretty important part of this farm. Okay, there we go. He's sleeping now. Let's place his bed right here. Let's see. Is he gonna sleep? There we go. Okay, nice. Let's continue building. Let's try to get each individual villager into their villager pods. I probably should have done this when they were sleeping, but let's put one right there. Come on, friend. One right here, and then one right there. Okay, perfect. We have them all isolated now, and now we can keep building. Up here is going to be the spawning platform for the iron golems, and now we just have to surround the entire thing with fences, something like this. And then right in front of here, I'll have to place three fence gates, and then open them. Okay, and now we should be able to place down some water, and this is what's going to push off all the iron golems. Okay, nice. I can't believe how fast I built this. I have it, like, completely memorized by now. But that's the top portion of the farm all done. Actually, wait. I need to craft up some stairs, and then right here in place of these blocks, I have to put some stairs. That's just gonna make it work a little bit better. Okay, nice. Alright, that's the top portion of the farm all done. So now the only thing left to do is to get a zombie up here, and he's gonna go right here in the center of the farm. I just need to excavate this little area real quick. Let's see here. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be the zombie area. I'll block it off from the villagers for the time being. Okay, um, now I just have to figure out how to get a zombie up here. Since there's so many unlit caves below the world now, it probably won't work if I just build a dark box up here. So I'm probably gonna have to find one down 
down in the caves and then bring it all the way up here. But it is just about to be nighttime, so this is perfect timing. Since I wouldn't want my zombie to burn in the sunlight. Let's see here. I thought I heard some zombies down here. Oh, I hear skeletons. Wait. Oh, and I hear zombies too. I might be in the right spot. I might just have to do some digging to find these guys. Let's see. Yeah, I hear zombies down here. Oh, okay. I think I found a cave. Oh, yeah. There's tons of mobs down here. Okay. This might be the perfect spot. Let's see here. Where are the zombies? Oh, the skeleton sees me. Let's get rid of him real quick. I think I should also get rid of this creeper. Oh, wait. I think this is right next to my mob farm. This is probably that big cave, but it just got expanded. But I don't see any zombies. But I'm hearing some over here, though. So let's go see. Yeah, it's like right over here. Okay, it's getting louder. Where are you? I can't tell if it's above or below me. Let's see. I think it might be above me, actually. Let's see here. Oh, I think I found the cave. Yeah, it's right above me. I see some mobs. Just found a creeper. Many of them, actually. All right, zombie. Oh, I hate this. This is so scary. Come on, zombie. Where are you? Oh, here he is. Here he is. <gasps> and he's already holding an item. Look at that. That is perfect. Okay, let's see here. I need to make sure I can make a quick escape out of here. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, hold on. Let's get rid of this creeper first. There we go. Okay, zombie. Where are you? Here he is. Come, friend. Okay, let's let him come in. Here he comes. Okay, chase me. Very nice. Okay, looks like it's working. All right, friend. This is perfect. Let's see. Where's the iron golem? I need to make sure I don't bring him anywhere near the iron golem because the iron golem will just completely obliterate him. Let's steer him nice and far away from the iron golem. Very nice. Oh, wait. I have thorns on my armor. Hmm. This might be kind of risky. All right, follow me up these stairs, friend. How is he holding a poppy? That is really weird. That means there must have been an iron golem that died down there. Very, very strange. Ah, okay. Let's go like this now. I'm going to build a little box. Wait, no, come back. Don't leave. Okay. He's trapped inside of here now. And I should be able just to place some water down like this. Okay. Oh my gosh. It is literally amazing. And then we go like that. I can't believe that went so easily. Oh my gosh. I think I've done this so many times that I've just gotten the hang of it. But there we go. We have our zombie in here now. I could not have gone more smoothly. But let's get rid of all the extra blocks around here now, since I don't want any iron golems spawning on here. And I'm also going to take a quick nap. Wait, there's monsters nearby. <laughs> I'll sleep down here instead. And now we just have to do one more thing before we can turn this farm on. Whoa, what the heck? There's a zombie in here. Interesting. Looks like all my villagers are safe though. That's good. But as I was saying, there's one more thing that we have to do before we can turn this farm on. And that's to build the collection area. It's going to go right below these blocks right here. So it's going to be centered on this block like this. Okay. And now we just have to build an iron golem killing chamber. Okay. It's going to be in a shape like this. And now we just have to clear out all of this down here. Okay. There we go. And now there's just one last thing that we have to do. And that's going to be to come in here, craft up some signs, and then place them all down right here. I think I might have made this thing a little too big, but that's fine. I don't want any iron golems to be able to escape after all. Oh, and I'm just one sign short. Oh my gosh. Why does it always have to be like this? Okay, here we go. Placing down the last sign. And now the last step is to add some lava on top of all of that. I guess I'll do one in each corner. And I'm also right about to run out of lava, so I should probably restart my lava farm. There we go. Oh wait, no, it's catching things on fire. Hold on. Um, hmm. What can I do about this? Maybe I'll just have to clear out a little area around it. I think that should be good now. But let's keep placing down all the lava. And wait, I don't think I actually need that lava farm because I have the nether. So let's go get two more bits of lava from that. Oh wait, hold on. I had one extra. Let's go like this. Okay, and I just need one more piece of lava. Okay, here we go. Oh wait, hold on. Earlier I was fighting a zombified piglin and I sent it through the portal. So it might still be angry on this side. Let's see. Yep, he's still angry. Okay, wait, they're all mad at me now? Hold on. Wait, oh no, this is really bad. Wait, they're all angry. Okay, I did not expect that to happen. Um, okay, why does it have to be this way? Let's try to kill these guys real quick. I totally forgot that if there's one angry pigman, then he's gonna alarm all the other ones. This is terrible. They just keep coming. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and fight all these guys off. I just came for some lava. Please leave me alone. Okay. Is that all of them? I really hope so. But hey, we did get a decent amount of gold from that, so I guess that's not all terrible. Let's see. Oh, there's still some angry guys down there. Oh, they're still angry. Oh my gosh. Please leave me alone. How can I get them to forget about me? I don't want to be dealing with this right now. All right, guys. Bring it on, I guess. There are so many of them. Oh, I hate this. Look at this. It's like a conveyor belt. Go away. I think I might have accidentally just made myself a gold farm. Okay. Is that it? There's a few down there, but they don't look angry. I think this might be the last angry one. I really, really hope. Okay. I think we might be in the clear, guys. Oh, wait. No, I still hear some angry ones. Oh, yeah. It's all of them down here. Okay. We got to take care of those guys, I think. Oh, and now they're making other ones angry. Oh, my gosh. This is a disaster, actually. Let's just snipe them all from up here, I guess. I hope I have enough arrows for this. Okay. I really hope that's it. Oh, just kidding. Here comes some more. Okay, let's go investigate. I hope that's all of them. Let's see. Are you guys angry? Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. They are all angry. That's great. Am I ever going to be able to get this to stop? I don't know. Look, there's like a whole horde of them coming now. Oh my gosh. Maybe I should just leave the nether and not come back. It might not be worth it. Let's just get rid of the rest of these guys and then I think I'm just going to leave. Okay. Well, look at all of them. This is terrible. Oh my gosh. Maybe if I just let all of them pile up down there, then that might solve my problem. I can just let all the angry guys hang out down there. Okay. I think that might be all of them. There's one little guy right there. There we go. He just 
just fell down. And we have our angry horde down there. Okay, I'm gonna try to escape. It's not worth it to be in the nether. I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to get rid of these guys, to be honest. Let's just get out of here. Okay, there's a few more. This guy's also angry. So is this guy. Everyone hates me in the nether. Okay, let's escape. Oh no, I left my door open. Oh my gosh. Wait, how am I gonna do this? I bet you there's gonna be so many of them that are angry when I go through. Ah. Uh, okay, I guess we'll just see what happens. Please, please, please. Oh, wait, there's tons of them, but they're not angry. Okay, wow, this is very scary. Um, let's just try to escape. Oh, I really don't want to accidentally punch one of them. Okay, oh my gosh, this is genuinely terrifying. Let's get them all to escape. All right, guys, please leave. Thank you. Okay, let's just take care of these guys now, I think. Let's go like this, and let's kill all of them. Wait, can these guys use their crossbows? Okay, I don't think they can. That's good. Let's get rid of all these guys. Oh, that was very scary. But we got over a stack of gold nuggets from that. Okay, and there we go. I had the lava I need. It should not have been that complicated. Oh my gosh. Whoa, what is going on over here? Oh, there's a zombie and he converted one of my guys. Oh, he converted my armorer. Oh my gosh. Let's get rid of you real quick. Oh, there's two of them that are converted. Okay, that's great. Okay, the zombie's dead. What am I gonna do about these guys? Um, yeah, it's my farmer and my armorer. These guys are like really important. Let's see, I might have enough gold to cure them. Let's go quickly investigate. Let's turn all these nuggets into ingots. Okay, and I have 10 gold. Yeah, I only have enough gold to cure one of them. Hmm, let's see here. I have two extra splash potions. And I also have tons of apples. So what should I do? I need to find a way to quarantine these guys because otherwise they're going to convert all the rest of my villagers. Oh, um, okay. This is kind of a problem. Why do things keep going wrong in this world? Oh no, they're burning. Oh no, oh no. Hold on. I need water. Wait. Oh, this is so bad. They're going to die. No, 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 no. One of them died. Oh, they both died. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I guess I won't have to deal with converting them now, but I lost my maxed out armorer and my maxed out farmer. <sighs> Okay, well, I guess we'll just place down the lava on this iron farm right here. And then once I have tons of extra iron, I guess I'll just be able to get some new villagers. Okay, tons of setbacks these last few days, but let's just go turn the farm on and see if it works. Please, I just need one good thing to happen to me. Okay, the zombie's still there, so that's a good sign. Let's break these three blocks right here. And now the farm should turn on. Okay, wow, that was instant. Okay, perfect. Let's see if he lands in there. Nice. Okay, it's working. And now all we have to do is just tear down this staircase, and then we should have a fully functioning iron farm. Finally, one good thing that happened today. Okay, there we have it. Our fully functioning iron farm. Let's go see here. Oh yeah, here's some iron. Nice. And it's working. Okay, amazing. This is so nice. Let's just empty out my inventory real quick though, because once again, it's completely overflowing. Okay, now I guess since my armorer died, I'm going to have to get another one. So let's start smelting up some smooth stone. And then we can craft up another blast furnace. There we go. Okay, and now I'm just going to have to work to upgrade this guy to master again. Oh wait, actually, hold on. The blast furnace is still here. So let's see. Yeah, we just need to make a few more villagers. I'm going to have to place down some more beds and then give them some food to breed. But I'm all out of wood, so let's go get some. And I'll be back once I have some more adult villagers. Okay, we finally just had an adult grow up, but he became a farmer. And I think I want him to become an armorer instead. Let's see. Oh, they're breeding again. Okay. <laughs> I think I gave them way too much food. Let's see. Armorer? Yes? No? There we go. Oh, we have two adults now. Okay. Oh, that is so expensive. Let's see if I can re-roll him a little bit. They're breeding again. Okay. Okay. Another armorer with more expensive traits. Oh my gosh. I guess I'll just have to do it. And also, as I've been waiting for these guys to grow up... Wow, there is so much breeding happening right now. Okay. But as I was saying, as I was waiting for these guys to grow up, I was getting all the iron that I was getting from this iron farm and using it to place hoppers down here. I just have six hoppers left to go. And this farm is working really good, actually. There's tons and tons of iron golems falling from it. But let's craft up some more hoppers. I only have three more to go. The three right here. Okay, the iron farm is all done. And I used all the extra iron that I got from it to upgrade my armorer. And finally, he's trading full diamond armor. And then I also got another armorer that also buys iron. And I've been making a decent amount of emeralds from this. I'm at 37 right now. It's not too bad. But now I'm going to take my books and then head over to my librarian to buy some more protection four. I want to have full protection four on all of my armor. I don't really care about all the other enchantments. Maybe feather falling four on my boots, but that's kind of all that matters. So I'm just going to spend a bit of time getting some more emeralds and buy two more protection four books. This should go very fast though, because we're getting tons of iron from here. Yeah, look at that. It's only been like two minutes and we already got 27. That is really, really good. Oh, but they're all sleeping. Let's see here. Hello, buy my iron. Thank you. Oh, wait, look at this. A cow has made it into the world. Let's see if I can bring him over. Oh, whoa, this is all powdered snow. I need to be careful. Oh, wait, there's tons of it. Interesting. All right, hello, cow. Is it just you? Do you have any friends? Okay, here he comes. Let's push him in with all the rest of my animals. There we go. We finally have some cows. I basically have one of every animal now. That is amazing. Let's see. Are there any other cows? Yeah, there's one right here, but he's pretty far away. I think that might be our only cow for quite a while. But once I get two of them, then I can breed them and get a pretty good source of food. But let's keep working on making some emeralds and then using that to buy some more protection for. Okay, 
here we go. Three more protection four books. And I think I should have one over in my chest over here. Let's see. Okay, nice. Now we have four. Enough for every single piece of armor. Now I really want to get Feather Falling 4 on my boots, so I'm going to disenchant these. Let's see what I can get. Ooh, Depth Strider 3. Wait, do I not have any more Lapis? Wait, oh, I only have seven. Oh, I have an idea. I think you might be able to buy Lapis from a Cleric Villager. So let's grab my Brewing Stand. Let's see if we can get a Cleric. Let's see, who wants to become a Cleric? Is it you? It's you. Okay. Oh, I have plenty of Rotten Flesh to trade. I knew it was a good thing holding on to all that. Okay. Yeah, look at all this Rotten Flesh. That's amazing. It's going to make me so many Emeralds. I should have been doing this earlier. Oh, wait, no, they're escaping. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I should not have put this right here. There we go. Um, okay. Where can I put this? Should I do it like right here? Is that still gonna work? Okay, it still works. All right, let's get some emeralds. Nice, he's leveled up. And there we go. Okay, we can buy lapis. Nice. Amazing. Okay, we got 23 extra from that. That's super good. Definitely enough for a bit of enchanting. Okay, Death Strider 3. Let's see here. And Protection 4. Okay, that's pretty good. I mean, I already have Protection 4 books, so maybe I should just try to get another set of diamond boots. Let's see, who's selling it for cheaper? Let's see, how much is it from this guy? 19. Okay, let's get some more emeralds from our cleric, collect up some iron, and sell it for even more emeralds. Let's see here. Okay, 19. Nice. All right, let's go try my luck on this one. Let's disenchant it. Let's see here. Blast protection. No, thank you. What about a book enchantment? Ooh, flame. That's really good. I now have flame and power five for my bow. Let's see what else I can get. Okay, I didn't get anything good, and I'm already below 30 levels. Wait, what's he doing here? Let's see if I can get some more XP real quick. I think breeding my animals should be a decent source of XP. I'll also breed up my sheep. Okay, we got about one level from that. That's not too bad. Let's see. How else can I get levels, though? This might be kind of hard. Maybe I should just try for Feather Falling 4 from a Cleric Villager. I think that might be a better option. So let's see if I can get another Librarian. Okay, he wants to become one. Let's see here. I'm gonna try to push him over to where his friend is. Come on. There we go. Okay, and now I can reroll his trades in peace. I'm just gonna... S oh, wait. We got Mending. Ah, uh, it's fine. We only have 17 days left, so we're not really gonna need Mending. I really need Feather Falling 4. Let's just try until I get that. Mending again? Oh my gosh. Okay, I got Feather Falling 2. That's gonna cost so much to get Feather Falling 4, though. Look, it's 29 emeralds. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep re-rolling. That's just not worth it to me. I'd have to spend way too long getting emeralds, so let's keep re-rolling. Okay, it's been a super long time, and I swear I got mending like 15 times, but the best that I could get was Feather Falling 2, and considering how long this took, I think I'm just gonna take it. It's gonna take way too long to get Feather Falling 4, and we don't have that much more time to waste, so let's get a bunch of emeralds from these guys. Thank you very much. Let's see here. Feather Falling 2. That's fine. <laughs> I'll just have to buy four books, but it's better than re-rolling like a hundred more times. And I think I've spent long enough with these villagers already, so I just want to get this done. Oh, wait, an Enderman. Hold on, side quest. Let's grab a boat. Oh, he just teleported so far away. Let's see if I can look at him. Let's go like this. Oh, where is he? Oh, here he is. Oh, he's too far away to make him angry. Please come closer. Oh, there we go. He's angry now. Okay, let's see. Please go in the boat. Okay, nice. Now we can kill him. Here we go. I got some Ender Pearls. Oh, I got two of them. Oh, yeah, it's because I have looting too. That is amazing. That was definitely a good side quest. But let's quickly sleep and let's try to make some more emeralds to get Feather Falling 4. It's 23. Oh my gosh, that is so expensive. But I'll be back once I have it. Okay, I think I should finally have enough emeralds after this. Let's see. Okay, nice. Four Feather Falling 2 books. So let's combine all those to get Feather Falling 4. Combine two like this, and then two like this, and then two like this. Okay. Now I guess I'll just add Protection 4 to all my armor as well. Let's do Protection 4 on my helmet. I already have Protection 4 on my boots, but I'm gonna add Feather Falling 4. There we go. I already have Protection 4 on my chest plate. Let's do Protection 4 on my leggings. Oh wait. Oh, I can't? Okay, I guess we'll have to disenchant them. And then I can add protection four. And there we go. Protection four on everything. And feather falling four on my boots. It's not perfect, but it's definitely good enough. Now there's one more thing I want to do, and that's going to be to add power five and flame to my bow. Let's add power five to this bow. And I'll add flame. Oh, I don't have enough levels. Oh my gosh. One second. Let's just breed all my sheep real quick. It's kind of chaotic in here, but if it gives me XP, then it's fine. There we go. Okay, let's see now. Okay, flame on my bow. Nice. Power five and flame. Let's see. Can I add punch? Oh, that costs nine levels. Ah, oh, that's so expensive, but that's fine. That should be good for now. So now that I have some really good enchantments, some decent tools, and also a decent bow, I think it's time we go check out that ancient city. Since it's been a super long time since I've been down there, and there's probably some new chests that we can loot. So let's check it out. There's probably also going to be so many mobs down there, but I have some good armor now, so it should be okay. Okay, let's venture down. I already hear tons of mobs. So far, I haven't encountered any though. Okay, and here we are. Oh yeah, look, it's so much bigger down here now. Oh, and we have some chests. Okay, let's go check those out. Oh, but now there's some shriekers though, so we do have to be careful. Oh, I'm scared. Let's grab some wool. Okay, here we go. Let's go investigate. I can't believe I'm in an ancient city right now. That is so crazy. Let's see here. Are there any shriekers nearby? I don't think so. Let's just see what's inside. Oh my gosh, two god apples, some XP, some name tags, an enchanted hoe. Oh wow, it's maxed out. Look at that, a maxed out diamond.
diamond hoe. That is insane. And also some glow berries and some coal. Wow, that was really good. Let's see what else I can find around here. Oh, there's a shrieker right there. And the steps are just outside the border. Ah, so I can't get up there. Hmm. Wait, what if I place wool? Ah, there we go. I'm using my brain, guys. All right, are there any other shriekers? I don't think so. So we can break this one safely. There we go. And then I'll bridge across with some wool. Let's see what's in here. Okay, pretty decent. Some name tags and some coal. Let's see if there's any more chests. There is one more shrieker right here. So let's get rid of it. Okay, and we have two chests over here as well as two shriekers. Okay. Um. Oh, and there's one right there outside the border too. I wonder if those can activate. I guess we're about to find out. Let's cover up this shrieker and then I'll break this one. Okay, and that one can't activate. That's good. Let's see. Okay, we got the ward armor trim. Nice. I'll probably never have enough diamonds to put this on my stuff though. But let's see. A ton of books in this one as well as some bones. Nothing too insane. Let's check this chest over here. Okay, we have two shriekers again. Um, I think I should go get some more wool real quick, just to be extra safe. Let's gather up some from right here. Okay, for some reason, the last few minutes forgot to record, so I'll give you guys a quick update. I found one more enchanted golden apple. I went down and mined my diamonds with fortune three, but I only got two of them. And that's basically it. You guys didn't really miss much. But I'm on my way back home, so let's go all the way back up to the surface. Maybe I can get some more XP right here. But here we are back home. And now it is day 88. We're getting pretty close to day 100. So I think it's time we start getting some ender pearls and blaze rods so we can go to the end. Let's see here. I already have three ender pearls and also a completely overflowing inventory. Let's just empty that out real quick. And now let's go to the nether to get some blaze rods. Okay, here we go. There's probably still going to be tons of angry pigment at me though. Let's see. Are they still angry? Yep, they still are. Okay. That is so annoying. Let's put on the gold helmet just to make these guys happy. Oh, how am I going to get rid of all these zombie pigmen? Ow. Ooh. Oh, there's so many. Oh my gosh. This is like the worst thing to happen in this world. Oh, I guess we can try out my bow. Oh my gosh. Okay. Why are they like this? They just never forget that I made them angry. <laughs> Look at all these guys. Ah, I have no idea how I'm going to get rid of these guys. I just want to farm some blaze rods, please. Okay. Those guys don't look angry. Hmm. Maybe they've forgotten. Okay. Oh, this guy's mad. Okay. Oh, they're all getting mad now. Ah, I hate this. Just let me farm blaze rods in peace, please. There's even some coming from outside the border. Oh my gosh. The nether is forever ruined because as soon as I kill one, another one will just spawn in its place and then they'll just keep going forever. I'm not sure how I can get this to stop guys. What am I going to do about this? Look at that. Some spawn over there. Now they're just coming over here. Oh my gosh. This is literally never going to end. This is driving me crazy. Please leave me alone. Okay. I think we finally have a break. Oh, some more are spawning over there though. Stop with that, please. And I only have 24 arrows left. Oh my gosh. At least I'm getting some XP. Okay. There's only a few left. This might be it. Just kidding. There's more of them. Oh, this is so annoying. Let's just jump down real quick. Gather up all this XP. Why? Literally why? <laughs> okay. Hold on. I need to do a Google search. I need to see if there's any way that I can get these guys to stop being angry. Okay, I just did a Google search and it says I have to go at least 40 blocks away from them. Whoa. Let's test out my armor. Okay, these guys do half a heart. That's not too bad. Let's collect up the rest of my items and XP over here though. And now I guess I'll try to go 40 blocks away. Let's just gather up a ton of blocks. And then I guess I'll try to pillar up over here. And then maybe if I stay far enough away for quite a while, then it'll work. I'm really not sure though. I'm just gonna go all the way up to bedrock and then just stay there for a few minutes. Maybe that'll work. Who knows? Okay, I'm at bedrock. Let's just stay here for a little bit and see if they forgive me. <laughs> okay, it's been about five minutes. Let's go see. Okay, they don't seem angry right off the bat. There are a few right down here though. Hmm, I wonder if this worked. Okay, it seems to have worked. I don't really see any of them angry at me. Yeah, nice. Okay, finally. I can finally go killing blazes in peace. Let's see. Yeah, they don't appear to be mad. That's amazing. Okay, blazes, bring it on. Oh, this guy's scaring me. You know what? Let's try to build a better box real quick. Okay, here's our first blaze. Ah, ooh, I'm not done with my box yet. Okay, I think we're good. They should all spawn in there and be boxed in. That's gonna make things a lot safer for me. Okay, here they are. Hello, friends. Oh, this guy's mad. Okay, how many blaze rods do we have? Six already. Oh my gosh. I have so many golden swords. Oh, it's so nice to have full prop four armor. I barely take any damage from fire now. Hello. I have 11 blaze rods. Okay, I feel like that's enough, but I'm just gonna get a little bit more just in case. Finally, things are going to plan. Okay, 20 blaze rods. That's good enough. Ooh, go away. Uh, all right, so let's head back now. We have one of the two ingredients done. All right, now that I have all these blaze rods, it's time to get some ender pearls. I also got so much gold from all that. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Oh, I can craft up some golden apples. I guess I might as well do that. Well, let's see here. I'm pretty sure you can buy ender pearls from these guys. So let's see. I think it might be his next trade. Let's try to get some more emeralds and then upgrade him. Okay, he should be at the next level. Oh, and he's not trading ender pearls. Hmm, is it at the master level? I don't know. I guess I'll just buy some glowstone from him. Let's try to level him up to master. Okay, let's see. 
see. He should be a master now. And no ender pearls. Okay. That is not very good. <laughs> I guess we'll have to get another cleric. It's a good thing I got all these extra blaze rods. So I'll craft up another brewing stand. Let's get another cleric. I think it's this guy right here, right? Nice. Okay, I have to buy some redstone from him. So I'm gonna have to sell some more iron for more emeralds. And then use that to level him up. Okay, let's see. Please trade ender pearls. Okay, nice. Finally. Let's get two extras. Now I'm just gonna have to work for a little bit longer to get some more emeralds to get those pearls. And I'll be back once I have that done. Okay, after a ton of work, I finally have enough ender pearls. And then I also got a few extra in case things go wrong in the end. But you might notice that I only have two arrows left. And since the world is so big, my mob farm is practically useless now. So it would be super hard to get some more. So I think we should try to get infinity on this bow. I got a pretty decent amount of levels in the nether and then also from these guys. So let's see what I can get. Okay, power three. What about a book enchantments? Nothing very good. Okay, where's my lapis? Here we go. I guess I'll just do a small one and then disenchant. Let's try again. Ooh, power four. Should I try it? I don't know. I don't know if it's worth the risk. I'm gonna do a small one again and then disenchant. Unbreaking three again. Okay, let's re-roll. Power four again. What about a book? Flame? I already have flame though. I might not have enough levels for this. Power four again. Why is it doing this to me? Should we just try it? Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna try a small one again and re-roll. This is our last chance. Okay, just power three. Oh, this is not good, guys. I desperately need infinity because how else am I gonna be able to knock out the towers? Okay, I have another idea. Let's grab three books, turn it into a bookshelf, and then into a lectern. Let's see if I can get infinity from a librarian villager. When I was re-rolling for Feather Falling 4, I saw infinity like three or four times, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Let's see here. Ugh, they're all going to sleep. Oh my gosh, this has taken so long. I feel like I've spent so much time just trying to get some good enchantments from villagers, but we only have a few days left, so I need to hurry. Come on, villagers, please. I need infinity. And also what's really annoying is I've seen mending like six times. I thought mending was supposed to be rare, but I'm literally seeing mending more than I'm seeing any of the enchantments that I want to get. But I guess that's just how it goes. You never see the enchantments you actually want to get. It's always the ones you don't want. It's like the game knows. I've also seen Feather Falling 3 a few times. Why is he taunting me? I swear, this villager over here showed me infinity like six times, and now this one's shown me Feather Falling 3 like four times. Why do they have to be like this? Ooh, sharpness five. That is way too expensive though. Sorry. I need infinity, and I need it now. I got it. Finally. Oh my gosh. Let's quickly get some emeralds before he resets. Thank you very much. And I'm also gonna need a book as well. Okay, here we go. It's time for infinity. Finally. Okay. Hello, friend. Nice. We got it. Okay. So let's head back to my enchanting setup and add infinity onto my bow. There we go. I think I'm finally ready to go to the end now. So let's grab my blaze rods, turn them into blaze powder, and then I'll craft up some eyes of ender. Here we go. Oh, I'm scared, guys. Okay, here we are in the stronghold. Let's see. Where's the end portal? Wait, what? Where is it? Um, hold on. I'm gonna have to search for it. Wow, I am completely lost. Wait, wasn't it like super close to my staircase? I have no idea. Oh, wait, actually, hold on. I'm not fully prepared to go to the end. So let's quickly head back home. I don't need all these extra items with me. And then I'm gonna need to bring some building blocks with me. Might as well just bring all of it. And okay, now I'm ready. I'm so scared. Okay, now where's the portal? Oh, <laughs> it's just right there. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't see that. Okay, and now we have to go like this. And here we go. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we're about to go to the end. This is insane. But here goes nothing. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we are. I can't believe I'm doing this right now. I never thought I would be able to get this far in this world. This was an extremely difficult challenge, but it's still not over. We still have to defeat the Ender Dragon. Okay, let's start sniping all the towers. And my aim is really bad today. There we go. It's a good thing I have infinity so I can make all these mistakes. It looks like most of these towers are actually not too high up. Oh, the dragon's already perching. Oh my gosh. If this were a speed run, I'd be so happy right now. But we still have all the towers to get rid of. I think I've done almost half of them. Oh my gosh. Wow. I think protection four just saved me right there. And the dragon also took damage because I have thorns on my armor. But it looks like there's just three towers left. There's this one right here. This one right here. And I think there's just one right here. Yeah, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna have to pillar up though. This might be pretty dangerous. Okay, here we go. It's a good thing I brought all these building blocks with me. Okay, the dragon's perching again, so that means we'll be safe for now. And let's shoot it from over here. Okay, is that it? Oh no, there's still one up here. Oh no, the dragon. No. Ah, oh, it's so close. Okay, we're safe. Let's go over here. Let's hide behind a couple blocks. I really need to make sure this doesn't knock me off. Okay, here we go. Okay, nice. I think that's all of them. So let's head back down. All right. Oh, it's perching. It's perching. Am I going to make it in time? I think I am. Okay, here we go. Bring it on, Ender Dragon. Ah, this is so scary. Okay, let's do some damage. Tons of damage. Nice. Okay, that was a pretty good start. Let's see if I can do some hits with my bow now. Okay, I guess not. I'm terrible with the bow. Come on, dragon. Oh, it's perching again. Oh, it's close. It's close. Oh, that was a little bit dangerous. Okay, let's do some more damage. 
Okay, it's on half health, just a little bit less. Okay, more good progress. All right, dragon, please perch. Wow, this is taking forever. <laughs> is it ever gonna perch? Okay, I think it might be perching here soon. It's super high up, so maybe. I think this is the longest it's ever taken a dragon to perch for me. <laughs> this has been going on for like over 10 minutes. What's wrong with this dragon? Okay, finally it's perching. Oh my gosh. But here we go, it's time to do some more damage. And this enderman is freaking me out. Oh my gosh. Please go away. Oh, he just got yeeted. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's do some more damage. Okay. Oh, that was really close. Okay, we're almost there. I think we just have one more perch. Okay, it's perching. Here we go. I think this is the one. Let's see here. Okay. Doing some damage. And there we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we did it. We defeated the Ender Dragon. Oh, tons of XP too. Nice. Thank you very much. This would have been very useful when I was enchanting. But we can't forget to grab the Dragon Egg. Let's place a torch down below it and go like this. Nice. Okay. All right. We defeated the Ender Dragon, but it's not quite day 100 yet. So I think we should try to go get the Elytra. Let's go over to this end gateway right here. And then I'll pillar up to it. And here we go. Please don't kill me. Okay, nice. Are there any end cities nearby? It doesn't look like it. All right, I guess I'm gonna have to search for a little bit. This is so terrifying. I'm so close to day 100. I do not wanna lose everything right now. That would be terrible. Okay, but let's keep our eyes peeled for any end cities. <gasps> Wait, there's one right there. That was pretty close. And it also has a ship too. Oh, it's perfect. And also you guys might be wondering why there's no border in the end. And that's because if I had a border in the end, then as soon as I would enter the end through the end portal, I would instantly die. Since the platform that you spawn on when you enter the end is more more than 100 blocks away from the center of the island. So that means when I would come into the end, I would already be outside the border and that would instantly kill me. So that's why I decided to do no border in the end, because otherwise this wouldn't really be possible. But let's do a nerve wracking bridge all the way across the void. I need to be extremely careful. Okay, here we are. We're almost at the end city, but let's go straight. Oh wait, oh no. I made an enderman angry. Ah. Okay, he's no match for my protection four armor and my sharpness four sword. But as I was saying, let's go straight to the end ship since I really want the elytra. Oh, we're gonna have to bridge again? Oh my gosh, I don't like this. Okay, here we are. This end ship is super high up. Oh my gosh. Well, let's start pillowing up. Okay, where are we? Okay, we made it. Let's get rid of this guy. Let's quickly go get this dragon head. Kind of a risky detour, but I really want it. Okay, here we are. We finally have the elytra. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Let's see what's inside these chests. Ooh, Frostwalker two boots. That's pretty good. And whoa. Look at that. That is a really good sword. I think it's better than mine. Yeah. <laughs> Let's keep this one. We also have some emeralds. Ooh, and beetroot seeds. That's going to be great if I want to expand my farm. But now that we have the elytra, we can fly over here. And let's see what other kind of loot we have. There should be some chests in here, I think. Oh, wait, no. I was wrong. It's this one that has chests. They're all the way over on this side. Okay, just some iron. Nothing super useful. I guess I'll take the emeralds. Let's see. Are there any other areas that have loot? Maybe down here? Let's see. Is this one three stories? It's only the three story ones that usually have loot. Yeah, this is just a two story one. So yeah, there's no chests. Okay, that was basically it. So let's float as high up as we can. I'll let these guys attack me. All right, we have the elytra. Some pretty good stuff. Let's fly back home. Okay, here we are. Let's head back through, and then I'll fly to the exit portal, making sure not to look at any Endermen. And here we go. The end credits. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, and here we are. I cannot believe we just did that. We started from one single block, and we made all this progress. But if you see right here, this is where the center of the world first started. So I have a pretty cool idea on what I can build there. I'm about to grab some deep slates, smelt up some stone, make a stone cutter, and then use that stone cutter to make some cool deep slate stuff. Let's see here. Maybe I'll do some deep slate tile walls, some deep deep slate tile stairs, and then some deep slate tiles. I don't know. Let's see how this looks. Let's go like this. And then maybe I'll try something fancy like this. Oh, I don't know. I'm not very good at making pedestals, guys. Maybe I'll grab some grass and then build up a little mound right here. And then I can build on top of this mound. Let's try something. That looks so bad. Hold on. This is terrible. Maybe I should try something a little bit smaller. Let's go like this and then like this and then like this. Okay, that looks much better. But there we have it. It's nighttime now. So you know what that means. It's time to sleep and make it day 100. There we go. Day 100. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe that this world started from just one single block and we were able to accomplish this much. Honestly, way more than I was expecting and I had so much fun playing in this world. But that's going to be all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!